All right, three, two, one, and you're back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the intro. No, no, no. Now, this is Homegrown Podcast. Um, me and Josh are back again. Uh, Matt, who usually isn't here, um, he's, uh, what's it, what would he say? He, what's it, what'd he say he had? He, he had, developed cunt disease. Yeah, cunt disease. <laughs> he, had, he had cunt disease. Wait, what? what? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> no. That was his excuse <laughs> to us. I thought you were going to use the other C word there, and I was like, that is very strong. No, no, no. Yeah, no. So uh, anyway. Thought, yeah, no, no. no. Uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he couldn't make it, basically. Um, last week we had JJ. Uh, so thank you to everyone that tuned into that and watched that. It was, yeah, fucking great to have him on. But today, today. It's me. With the man himself. It's me. The second, the second most important person. I don't person. know who he is. The, no, I'm the second most important person that, you know, you pick people in priority. JJ was obviously number one. Was that what he said? Um, let's roll with that. Guys, I can go with I think you're, <laughs> I think you're <laughs> strategy wrong. Really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, get a really big person on, then get someone who's like unknown. Yeah. It's just to, to promote them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need every bit of promotion <laughs> I can get. We'll get into that though. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Please. Let's see, we wrong. said his name yet? Uh, yeah, I said Lux, but let's say it's full, his full name. Yeah, just in case you don't know me. Callum. Callum. He's, Calix. Calix. he's uh, the UK's Jake Paul. Yep. Thank you. Please <coughs> put that in the title. I need that at the moment. To be fair, actually, you, you uh, did a diss track. So you might as well be a Jake Paul. Yeah, I did it before him, though. Do you think, think he copied yeah. you? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 I think they're, they're doing pretty nicely in their own wave. Call it a wave because they're currently in Hawaii. Currently know that because I watch their vlogs every day. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Was it so, someone? Someone the other day was saying, "Oh, I hate to admit, but I watch all their fucking yeah. videos." I think that was it. It was G, wasn't it? G, I think G, G tweeted that the other day. I think, I think a lot of people tweeted that. It was I, like, I don't get like what's what's the shame in watching someone's videos though. No, there isn't. There isn't. But you know when you know when the the bigger YouTubers are hat, like or people are like hating on someone, then it mm. becomes like uncool to watch them. In a it's way, like, it's like when everyone hated Bieber. KSI. Yeah. KSI. It's a bit like, it's like Love Island. <laughs> Love Island, yeah. shit. I don't watch it though. But mm. everyone says it's shit yeah. TV, but yeah. everyone watches it. Yeah. Um, I think that's the, just the way shit TV goes though, isn't it? Just to throw out there, have you, have you watched any of it? No. I've literally watched none of that. No. I've you're, watched you're like like three or four episodes. We don't watch TV at all. No, we don't. But no. yeah, sorry, you've watched three or four episodes. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's just all right. okay. It, it didn't hook you. It didn't hook no, you. no, 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 no. I, I was baited for like a bit. Uh, and Sarah, Sarah tried to watch one back to back because she'd missed a few, and I was like, "Did no, she watch it? No, yes, uh, yes." Had to, that's where it comes. Had to in. download episodes for her so she could watch them on the plane on the Legal, way to, legally, though, right? Oh, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she could watch on the plane on the way to LA. Uh, uh, so boyfriend, goals. boyfriend, yeah, yeah, making her happy. So what did you do in return? Went to LA <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> that sounds good. No, she makes great music that I can listen to early before everyone else. And really enjoy and sing and we, about We, your we vlogs. get to sometimes. Oh, sometimes. I heard your yeah. singing in your vlog the other day. It was uh, some mad singing. I was just like, okay, you put a flipping. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I had sorry, to apologize sorry about for the singing. That. I love this one. I, I, I'll talk about something for you, actually. I've got something coming out. Yeah? Was it on the list to talk about? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. No, it's fine. I've got something coming out soon. Hang on. Uh, a song. We've got, we got a new KSI in the this? room. Yeah, Why do legit. I know that? Legit. It's a secret yeah, underworld. Song. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Sarah's song about you, or oh, it's your song. Oh, she's got some of them coming out too. But, um, oh, but hey, no, you no. watch your way up the ladder. I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> I finally, mean something to her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three years into a relationship, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, you should yeah. probably say exactly how long it is, just to make no, sure I, that you're right. No, I don't want to put the anniversary online. I don't want that. Ah. Yeah. Well, I mean, more like for just for, so Sarah knows you know. Oh. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, she knows because, because like, every yeah, three years or some shit like that. I don't know. Every certain day of the month, we have this battle. Like when it turns that time at midnight, we try and say it. It's hashtag couple girl. Hashtag that's cute, cute. Uh, that's real cute. No, but oh, I'm getting a warm uh, bubbly inside. Uh, uh, <laughs> help me. <laughs> no, but I've got a song coming out. <laughs> you want a song about me? Um, you might be in this song. I'm not no, there. it's a, it's a it's a parody ish song. Uh, I think it's got a good vibe. Mm. I it's coming out it. hopefully very soon. I don't know what the iTunes turnarounds are though. You're actually banging it on iTunes, there, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I, and, Sarah's I, taught you well. <laughs> 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 right. I'm not going to get into another topic, but times are hard. <laughs> times, well, times are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Need to move into a different area. No, yeah, so, yeah. Right, no, go ahead. Hit we me. can get that topic. <laughs> yeah? 
if you're happy to talk about yeah, that topic. Yeah. yeah. Wait, not, wait, wait, before we do, yeah, what on. kind of song is it singing song or is it like a rap like before? Uh it's got um it's like heavily auto-tuned vocals because I can't sing. T Pain. <laughs> <laughs> not that, not that, actually not that. He's not anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's a different kind. Yeah, it's it's right. um it's it, it's it's good. It's it's, I think it's good. I think it's good. And then you've got like me singing, oh yeah, like hi, taking the piss as well. Oh, oh, like you're coming. <laughs> oh yeah. No. <laughs> and then and then you've got like one bit of rap in it. But it is it it's it's not like leave the real stuff to Sarah parody stuff to me. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see it very soon, I hope. There you go, exclusives. Yeah. Shit, I didn't even know about that. How did you know? I guess you've been talking to Cal about this. This is yeah. like the, the deep web of the YouTube. World. How do you think how do you think I got onto the podcast? I've been bumming him since <laughs> the first one came out. Talking yeah. to him every night. When, when am I coming on? <laughs> hey Josh, you know my song's coming out. You know my song's coming yeah, out. I need uh, that pro- can we is this going out? Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> When's the song coming out? Yeah, thinking like top lines of the description and stuff. When's it coming out? Uh hopefully the next two weeks. Now nah, this will be out way before then, my friend. So have to uh, yeah. get something else promotional yeah. okay. after Fair that. Fair enough. You're gonna have to shoot right. a video for that with After Party as well. Now you've got After Party, you have to shoot. Yeah, hope we've 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 been already working on the treatments of what the video what the music video should look like. Um I'm, st- I'm torn between loads. I don't yeah. know yet. Hopefully it'll be cool though, but I also don't wanna spend like two weeks on a music video that will delay it even more mm. like I just want to yeah. film it on a day and then edit it and put it up and nothing more because mm. I think I don't know you could go like all out and, and create some I want to spend like five grand on a music video and make it cool and shoot on. I, t- I talked to Ben about shooting on film Jesus that's expensive which shit, is like a thousand pounds every yeah. 11 Why minutes or something that? like that yeah that so, is so expensive yeah. yeah so you're aiming to like everyday bro levels um, I don't know how they do that I like those guys vlog their whole day. The next day it will have a music video out. Do you know what I mean? So they must work on that music video one day, get it edit that day and it goes up the next or the, day. Or the vlog is like from 8 a.m. to midday. Yeah, or that, you know, yeah, a couple of vlogs. They could get two vlogs in a day if they're really intense with it. <clears throat> I feel like I feel I feel like they are in that intense. And they change with clothes it, yeah. and shit to make it look like it's a different day. I would not be surprised, but I do not know how they do that. Like turning a music video around in one day is not you know. They must have a fucking massive team though. Like, yeah, that's because you guys, to, yeah. in general, like the circle of sidemen and like friends, you know, Halo Tower and like just hashtag just, squaddy. Just, just those, just, like that is a group generally. Everyone is so just like organic with their stuff. Like it's it's not it's not corporately driven. <clears throat> Eight editors per YouTuber. Like every single one of you at, edit at least some of your videos. Like. Like obviously, if you're putting out loads of videos a day, you're going to need an edit up to help you with that workload because you can't make the videos and edit. Yeah. But tip, like, if they're doing content like that, that's that intense, they must have a mad team behind them. I, th- I, I think they, they do. Sure. Well, like I, I know that Jake Paul Team Ten gained, I think it was 1.5 million dollars in investment. So yeah, yeah. That's that's something that geez. I guess we we haven't even delved into yeah. for us at all. <clears throat> that's why they're so they're so far ahead. That's I, I respect everything they do. Like they're buying the way into YouTube. It's so clever. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's not even. It's just. <clears throat> it's just. I guess the best way to put it is that YouTube is no longer this place where you're going to broadcast yourself as YouTube as slogan used to be. Mm. It's now going to become this dog eat dog business world where we are all essentially a TV network. Well, we're yep. fighting against James Corden to hit the trending page. Like, yeah, it's, it's no longer- to hit suggested and to get- But we're still fighting little cats and viral videos everyone's still on. And that, but I preferred that to be yeah, fair. Yeah. You know, those guys are so heavily pushed and it's great content. YouTube needs to keep them happy. So I understand, I, like, I'm never like totally one side. I'm never like, cause we'll get into it later, but I've been hit hard by this CPM thing and, and uh, the money and the subscribers and the growth. But I just look at it as if like, right, I just need to work harder. But uh, th- those guys, they're just getting promoted so much. This. Mm. Are you referring to the TV shows or to that Jake Paul and that? I'm referring to James Corden and that. Like, okay, yeah, so yeah, the, 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 the TV like, yeah, ones, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and obviously they've got like, obviously James Corden's probably got staff members of like 20 plus on a YouTube channel probably, let alone. And, oh, I, and, and yeah. obviously writers to get all the ideas. Yeah. It's something that I think, I delved into it here and there on the video I did recently, like why I don't upload. As in like, well, I think all of us typically are all people who, we're the old school, we're the old generation of YouTubers where we're so used to just, this is my channel, my things, I have control of everything I'm doing. Where you have this new wave coming in now where they're so open to, okay, I need to have me as the face of this channel. Now I need my editor, my writer, my producer, my PA manager, and my strategist, yeah. and my creative director, and my photographer. Like you have this whole team there 
and because of that team, you can churn. <coughs> so they could churn out a video. It's much easier. The thing is, you could you could yeah. vlog and then that's edited. Yeah. Like yeah. send that footage over there. Here's my camera. See you later. I've got to go shoot this video. So shoot me this video. I'm a writer. Wrote the lyrics. Sweet. Imagine. Yeah. But well, that might not be the case. Yeah. But that that could be the case. And that that strategy of the whole diss track against each other, all that stuff, could have been a marketing team gone. The way YouTube now works is if you create view loops, if you create this whole story between you where I have to loop from Jake Paul's channel to Logan Paul's channel to Jake Paul's channel to Logan Paul's channel, eventually the way the algorithm's going to work is you're going to be suggested together. And well, you, have to, you, you have to exactly follow this story. how it works. Yeah, and you have to follow this story and watch both sides in order for, yeah. for people to actually be interested in it and to follow the story. Therefore, both channels booming and you're pushing two networks, well, like two networks, I say networks, but obviously like the Jake Paulers and the Low Gang. You're putting two audiences like bang. It's yeah. like saying, imagine if Sidemen went, right, you know what? FaZe Clan, right? Fuck FaZe Clan. And, we're, and they're like, You should have done this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. FaZe? <laughs> like about a year ago, yeah. yeah. But they're still banging now, you can still do it. Yeah, so it's one, it's one of those things where we'd have gone, they, we'd add, if we had, like, that now. If we had a team behind Contest. us, and they had a team behind us, we'd have gone, okay, great idea for us to do is we just do this whole beef together. You have to follow across all our channels with this beef that's going on. You beef individually between us. Yeah. And that's pushing that's two right, audiences yeah. together. Yeah. And that, that's that's probably what they've done. The issue that, I, that we have as well is that I think we're just also comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the biggest killer. It's, it's that case of nice, that thing, isn't it? That comfort graph that he drew, he, he drew out in that vlog. Hit home to, to so many people, I think, especially me. Yeah, as soon as you're comfortable, you're stagnant, you're the, plateauing. You the thing I was going to say about what you just said is that um, we, we are directors, camera guys, editors, story you know marketing we are absolutely everything and that and that's what people you know people just see a video at the end and that's what we obviously want you guys to see we want we want you guys to enjoy what we put out and and it's just this package and that's it you don't see anything behind it but the we are literally all those people and companies spend tens of thousands hundreds of thousands trying to replicate just different parts of that i mean i used to work for a youtube network yes yeah, like, i think i was going to delve into yeah so, so it's yeah, we'll, we'll get into that, but it's it's like they hire people for specific jobs that we do every single day. And that's just mad. That's what everyone takes for granted. Yeah, and that's the thing for you to be able to even level them in terms of their productivity. You have to work so fucking hard, like so hard. It's ridiculous. And it will weigh you down. Like there's only a certain amount of work you can put in before you are just burnt. You're burnt out. Your I, brain I is just frazzled. I don't know how these guys are still alive. Yeah, no. These side men guys. <laughs> I don't think we are. <laughs> like dead <laughs> inside. I know. Oh, but just, yeah. I feel like, like, I feel like there's a new wave incoming. Yeah, like, yeah definitely. I feel like starting this has yeah. been good. And like, it's like putting actions into, or putting plans into action is finally saying that, saying that I'm so bad at. And that, that, that's whether that's yeah. through. I think we all are though. Yeah, but whether it's being through like being comfortable of where we are and happy with where we are and not maybe not striving for more. Or maybe just being like, just you've done the same thing for three years, so you're just—it's like going to a nine to five job. You're just so used to just going. Okay, I'm going to commute to work, do this right at five p.m. I'm gone. Yeah. Obviously, ours isn't like that, but we're just so used to. Okay, every day I need to make sure I've recorded my random games at the end of the day with the guys, and I need to wake up and get all those edits put together, upload them, get them scheduled, and obviously and I, used to do, I used to do FIFA, but I don't do that as much anymore. Yeah, and it's just there's, there's, how you need to break that mold. So if I go, oh, I need to, I need to do a podcast. I can't do that because I need to record random games for tomorrow. And that was seven days a week. Hmm. So it's like a normal job. Again, five days a week. Yeah. You guys were working seven. I'm trying to get onto that wave right now. Of seven days a week working. It's it's hard. It's really hard. It's hard. I mean, it's harder for what for, for what you're doing. I was like, so say like if I had to get a main channel video out every single day. Which a lot of people say actually fair. Something I, Simon. Yeah, that's that's something. I mean, he, he's slowly cut it down more yeah. because it's just it's the issue with main channel videos is you're trying to you over, especially with us. I think you overthink every idea. To say the to say the fidget spinner trend came about, all of us discussed it. Yeah. And we always sit there and go, ah, oh, it's just not us. Like, yeah, I'm not going to enjoy that, and I don't want to be that guy who does that. And with the so, hot knife thing, but I think like a couple of people yeah, did we, jump on that. JJ jumped on that. Yeah, and it was and more of a parody though. Bang. And it reaped it massive more of a parody though, bang. Right? Yeah, like yeah, he, for sure. Like, yeah, and you have to try and like, like ride that wave quite that's, well. That's, that's, a, that's, that's the way you should go about it. If, if, you're not, if you're not that channel that sits down with that camera that's zoomed in on the knife, cutting through yeah, an Yeah, not showing their face and shit. And not showing their face with yeah. music playing, then, then that's you. But if you're... 
the, that, co- the if comedy. You're KSI, yeah. then you want to get a machete and yeah, and mess about with it. Um, yeah. and he did that perfectly. And it, and it works. That's, that's do you know who else does that really well? I don't watch a lot of his content. I think it's called Jack's Films. Jack Jack Films. Yeah, yeah. I can't say I've heard. He he hops on a that. trend, okay, and just bangs it. So his fidget spinner thing was like. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was like a minute long. He's a really so funny. person as well. Incredibly creative. As long as you are, and bang the that's how you can get away with that. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, creative in terms of what though? Like, the way you use the idea or the way he produces the video? Just as a whole, the Everything, filmmaker is very creative. Yeah, yeah, so creative. Mm. Highly would recommend. And do you think he's like one of those old school YouTubers that yeah, does he's, it's he's all, like generation It's all like, like um, he's before us, probably. Yeah, it's all like organic, basically, all the shit he does. Been around a long time, actually. Yeah. It was around a similar time from when I've started, I feel. But just obviously, that, I don't. Like, I, I don't. Wa- I didn't. I like. I don't really watch his content. I see like bits and bobs. I surf Reddit quite a lot, so he hits Reddit videos. Like he's most respected. Videos, he's very amongst respected amongst that community, yeah. and maybe less so. A lot. He uploaded. He, he uploaded a video the other day that was his longest, deepest dab ever. I think, <laughs> and it was about thirty seconds long, and he literally like got down so low, hit the dab, and that was it. <laughs> and and he said something at the end of the video, which I'm not core audience, so I don't know what he meant, but it yeah. was. Uh, and he said, and that was it. The end of the video. A million views. I think that's. I think that's fully an issue that us lot as a whole, like our whole group, stru- uh, struggled with is just overthinking everything to the point of um, not jumping on trends because you're like that's not Dignity. us. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, so it's something we all hold dear is like integrity, like making yeah. sure that we are. But it's, you have to. Yeah, so you just try and buy that line of like parody, yet almost still doing it. Yeah, or just like or whatever your, own way. your videos are normally. Like so, so if I see a, if I see a video, how I work, if I see someone do, uh, we'll take for example a video that I didn't upload. I'll tell you why in a minute. The McDonald's um, Monopoly thing. Like I tried to mm-hmm. h- hop on that yeah, yeah. when it just came out. Um, I saw someone's video on it and I was like, oh my god, yeah. Like I knew I wanted to do this. Now it's out. I found out it's out. I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> so up the levels and I bought so much stuff and made a whole video and didn't win anything but kind of try to make it fun and put it on my own way. Ben filming and, and stuff like that, just, you know, side by side. And unfortunately, TGF Bros, I had it edited. It was going up the next day and TGF Bros uploaded that video on that day. And you didn't so upload I, it? I didn't upload it. Because that's, oh, just that's it anyway, me. Man. But the, yeah, but I don't the, know. The, the, the list of videos that Cal's not posted in the years that I've known him. Well, he's yeah. got four it's, videos. It's probably yeah. quite extensive. The, 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 it was like, that was your downfall, I think, at one point. Uh, I guess when go out to Leicester Square, record a video, get home, edit it, enough. and it's not good enough. Yeah, that's fine. That's it's fine. It's, it's, you should do a channel do where you, know you release those eventually. Th- It'll be too late think, now, though. I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about me fucking like gold though. Three into a video and like reacting to it, but I'm that could work. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I can't remember. It was something to do with not putting out a video. I can't remember. No, that's fine. <laughs> it's gone. That's actually quite a good point too. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. You might come to. You remember it in a minute. Yeah. We're talking. You're like, wait, wait. That, that yeah. McDonald's video is like my childhood dream. Yeah. Or just buying that many McDonald's. Uh, yeah. Like. Because I, I remember thinking, 20 I remember nuggets, thinking 20 of the as well. Like, oh yeah, it could be quite a good TGF's idea. TGF's video was very good. But a lot of people, lot of, but a lot of people did that trend anyway. And what you forget as well, if someone else does a trend. It's also a very good idea to jump on it as well because you're going to hit their suggested and you're going to and yeah. it's just a boosting that trend in general. Yeah. Because there's always the whole thing of like, oh, you copied that person doing that. And it's like the more, sometimes yeah. more people jump on something, the more it pushes something. Yeah, anyway. that's just a vocal minority, and that's what we always yeah. talk about. It's like those those comments. The comments don't hurt me anymore, and and I wouldn't say that. They, 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 no, they, no, 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 they, they legit don't. <laughs> they me, Wait, do, well, <laughs> really bad comments about you on purpose now to try and see. Oh, let's test him. Right. No, it's don't fine. test him. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's. I've been on the platform seven years now. Yeah. Do they still hurt you? No, nah, you just. I feel like. <clears throat> I haven't said anything. I've been in videos like this, just double chinning the hell out of everything. And oh, you can't even hear me. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like and, uh, is this is that, that tough skin people. <laughs> is that tough skin people <laughs> talking to the people like you just develop I've it? I guess e- people have said everything about you. Yeah, you just you just put yourself out to be judged, amongst you judge. Oh well, yeah, it just happens. I I don't remember like it is quite. That's actually the best thing YouTube's ever given you. It's, it's a bit of like thick skin. Yeah, but it's what's the word? It's like a bit of like freedom almost. It frees your confidence and insecurities a little bit. Inhibitions. You, yeah, it, yeah. Like, because it's just like you're put out there, and the world judges you there and then. Yeah. That's it. Four minutes. Okay. Four initially, minute initially, you might be like, "Oh, that sucks," and you might say, "Might ride on you a little bit." Or you delete the comments. But I think that might be more for guys though, because 
there's probably quite a lot of female YouTubers that I've seen who get hit by this insecurity like comments and it actually hurts and affects them over time. And I guess also someone like so an Instagram no Instagram an Instagram model who quit. No, she, I don't know. I can't remember, there was an Instagram model who quit. And this is different reasons. This is like because she's pushing this perfection and any like slight glimpse of not being perfect on her Instagram is like she wouldn't post it and she Oh is yeah. this the but she delete it. Is this the girl that then like exposed I think, I think several people then follow the trend of like, okay, I'm now going to be a real person. I'm going to say this is this is edited yeah. here, this is edited here. I've edited this part here to make my like lips look big or whatever. But I think like, obviously, that then people like they push for so much perfection all the time. Yeah. So that's a, a whole new tangent of how yeah. Instagram's destroying the hell out of every every like yeah. little guy and girl. Maybe we shouldn't go down tangent. I was just going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, I have an ASOS recently got like, praised because they had just completely unedited photos of females in like I don't know whatever they're wearing like swimsuits or whatever, and it was showing their stretch marks and like they, right? they got praised for that. Because, right, but, but, but I don't think why are it's we real. like why is like surely why that should be normal? It? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yes, it should be praised because that's that's absolutely, like of course. But like that's that's fine, that's as it should be. But what? It, why are we worrying up a, a point where you have to be praised for showing women as they are? And like, and it's same for same for guys, I guess. Really, yeah. I guess the guys maybe the guys are it did. And yeah, we, no, for sure. And when we look at it, we think, oh, I should be like that. And this guy's got his like pecs like yeah. inflated or whatever yeah, sure. on fucking Photoshop. Fo on Photoshop, and that's like we feel like we need to be like that now. With, like, with guys, it's less it's less like spoken about. It's like taboo across all. That's the whole thing they've they've tried to push anyway recently because. Like mental illness across guys is really high, but not spoken about. Yeah. Yeah. All kind of insecurities of guys are unspoken about because guys are like, no, I'm hard. Like, I can't tell in like, my mates that I'm like really depressed right now. I've got to be happy. Mm. But mm. I think it's also like a race to the top. Like, you're like, say you post a photo and you've got skinny waist and you look good. Someone, someone else who's alongside you, yeah, is going to see that and go, well. I'm going to do that. Right, what do I need to do? Oh, I'll Photoshop this, or I'll, I'll go to the gym for this next year and do this. It's just like you can get you so know, lost in the numbers, and, it's, and the people at the top, like you talk about, your like Emily Ratters and like Alexis Wren and so on, they are like unreal. But they they live that life to to be like that. Yeah, that is their life to yeah. to be that like social media god. Mm. Like that is what they are, isn't it? They're Instagram gods or goddesses. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, to young females, but they've got and, great and lives young males as and well, they, and they. <laughs> Well, great lives is what we can uh, see on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, but yeah. did, did um, uh, what was her name? Sorry, the second Alexis Ren. Yeah, Alexis Ren. Broke she, up with a boyfriend. Yeah, didn't she have like a bit of a mad time for a little while? Like, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So like, the, the, I feel like obviously I mean, they might not want to share that side of it, but I feel like that's that side of stuff. Is that allegedly, just, allegedly, they just allegedly. they just don't no, no, no. show she, that. She, uh, she came she, out recently, didn't she? She came out about it recently. Yeah. Yeah. There was a whole article about it. Article. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about this, and yeah, she's like. Obviously, she's doing her own thing now, and that's because of her boyfriend or something at the time. I don't know. Uh, what's his name? Jay. Jay Alvarez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which he well, makes great videos, videos, but I haven't videos. heard great things about him, unfortunately. Yeah, obviously, we can't judge, but, but from what you've yeah. heard, yeah. Yeah, same over here, really. Um, but yeah, it's just a shame that... Well, it's not a shame, but it's it'll be, it'll be nice for people that do like praise them on, on social media for their content, that they do realise that that is a side of their life as well. And that it's okay for that. Like life is not ups, ups, ups. Like oh yeah, I'm up here all the time. I'm this fucking. Uh, my life's amazing all the time. Oh, I look this great. Like life for everyone, regardless of what point you are in life, life is going to be ups and downs. Like for you, it's all re it's all relative. What's well, that very generic Do you know statement? What I mean? That's like you need to feel the downs to feel the ups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. You know, and vice versa. The, the position that we're we're in potentially right now, and with other people, changing tangent a little bit, is like that happiness thing. It's like once you buy that first when I got my first PS1, that happiness that I felt then was like incredible. I'll tell you what, I probably haven't felt that happiness since. Maybe when I got my oh, first yeah. HD PVR. That's, 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 that's a very, that's a very good point. Black Ops. No, that gets a lot of people. Then one, so Black Ops. That's the thing of like, you, so, get yeah, your first car, you, get, you get your car and you get all these things. Yeah. And it's like, it's that, that's, that's why a lot of people who have a lot of money end up spending so much money because they keep just chasing this like, I want that happiness again, but it ain't coming. Yeah. yeah, because, because you, you just achieved. happiness. Though. That's that like right? That's the whole thing, right? Didn't yeah. he say that? On yeah, he did that in Joe Rogan's. Yeah, yeah. What did he say? So he said like he pretty much done everything. Like, would that be like how many girls he slept with, how he slept with girls, whatever, like anything like that? What he's bought, what he owns, what he's won. Yeah, like so. He's, yeah. So because he's achieved all of these different things through through life, he's there like, well, well, what do you do now? Mm -hmm. And what what can I possibly even do to up myself? To even make myself feel like that, that sheer like joy and happiness ever again. 
Yeah, it's, it's not it's not happiness though, is it? That's the way he described it as he was like, um, it's a short. It's, like, it's just a buzz. Comfort. It's like a high. It's not even. It's not even real. Like it's not real happiness. It's just a high. It's like oh, I'm gonna buy. It. He's got to the point where he's like, I'm gonna buy a fucking helicopter. And that's why people <coughs> turn to drugs too. Yeah. Which Same thing. Yeah. Because you you're more chasing affordable version of that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're your first, your first ever. Mm. Thing that was new the best, and you're gonna yeah. chase yeah. it forever. You, yeah, you, you chase that first high. Yeah, obviously that's, that's with some serious <laughs> fucking drug stuff. <style. laughs> that's a whole never. Done. <laughs> yeah, I used to address in tangents because yeah. they're good. Tangents they're are very good, good, but yeah, yeah. But you need to have that structure then on topic as well. Hit me. So hit me with a topic. Where do we Josh? get to that? This was probably a best. We were, best we were Josh to Paul in with Logan Paul in. Yeah, yeah. Giving them some promo as always. Who doesn't? Pipe yeah. Maverick. Number Why one. Not? Number one. Yeah. <laughs> number one and Links number three. In the yeah. Most subscribed YouTube channels at the moment. Number one, number three. I know that breaking Jake. So who's breaking, two? Sorry, who's two? Some sort of music or something, like oh, videos okay. or something. Pretty sure that Jake's like breaking records right now. Oh, he has to be. Like how many subscribers you've gained in thirty days? It's like. 2.1 million, 2 million in the Jesus past 30 days Christ. which is my subscriber base built over five years Mental. in 30 days in in 30 days i'm leaving boys <laughs> oh, I need to work <laughs> come on yeah, so in 30 uh, day, like to get 2.1 million subs in 30 days mm. you can half a million views it's in, a, what's that what's you that, know, what's that per second like is someone was someone there is that is that 2.1 million seconds? Someone should work it out. Like work it out, put it in the, in the comments yeah. of, yeah. of how many yeah. that is. I used to work in a day, but it's... I mean, he's doing like 500 million views a month. Yeah, Jesus. and what... Well, yeah. that's got to be a couple of views. That's got to be like... Uh, this is something I thought about. That is obviously someone watching you constantly. There is not a break in someone watching you throughout the world. Isn't it crazy that even with our numbers, there is always someone watching, watching us. somewhere in the world, yeah. yeah. And and you that and sounds to, creepy as to put it even <laughs> further. Brother. It's like they're on yeah. your Instagram, they're on your Twitter, they're watching your Snapchat, your Instagram story. But if you upload every probably every couple of days, someone is watching you constantly with the views that we see in the back end from like old videos and stuff. Mm. But I just find that mad, so mad. That's when you look at um, watch time. In yeah, analytics. like watch time is disgusting. And it says like, yeah, like people spent this many like years watching you. Jesus Christ! I think I, I think wasted that much like, time. My, my, <laughs> yeah. I know this is what I said. Yeah, my <laughs> point is fucking shit. Mine isn't even it's that fun, but. incredible. But like, I think I've had three hundred and twenty years of content watched in the in the last week or the last month or something like that. Yeah, which is like that's how much time you've wasted. Three hundred and twenty years, <laughs> mad of people sitting down. My point was thinking that, that is it like you said about that building subscribers. The whole, the whole five years of building subscribers, Jake pulls on it in 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> I've posted, what, like 3,000 videos of random games on my second channel. Mm. I haven't got, I've got, I haven't got any subscribers on that channel. I've got 1.6. And 3,000 videos. Haven't got, I haven't got more views than he's got in the past 30 days. <sighs> Mad. So that's, 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 I'm just putting it in just in, like, into in perspective, perspective of how yeah. big he is right now. So imagine it's this Christmas, by this Christmas this year, one, do you think he'll still be going like he is? And two, if he is, how many subs do you reckon he'll have by then? In the that sense, the scary so thing now. is that he. This is like, we should check up on the this. The subs, as well. the subs is going to be unreal, but he's going to be a ten million view a day daily vlogger. Jesus, as in, do you think he'll achieve that? Well, he's pretty much already. He's a seven at the moment, and he's going to hit ten. Let's be real. And you know what? They're smart. If he keeps going, if he's got a team, and we're talking about what happened earlier. That he's yeah, gonna, I, you I know, know. I fully, fully, there's like, gonna be another beef. There's gonna be something else. He's gonna bring in a new audience, and it's, you know, I didn't know someone could get that many views a day. That's, that, that's the that thing. Is, like, there's a, there's a max. People get a certain amount of views a day, and yeah. now he's breaking that. Is it, that's all the time we've always been, like our expectation been surpassed by YouTubers of like, it was like, oh, someone's got hit 10 million like views a month. Oh my god, someone hit 100 million views a month. Sure, no one's ever gonna beat that now. Like that's it. Like that person said, you don't want to know people ever do that. And then like PewDiePie went up to like 200 million a month. And it's like, the hell is going on? Mm. It's like 300 million a month. Like, no, nah, like for real now, what's going on? <laughs> mm. That's and true, actually. And now you have to be on, like, what's I said to you the other day? You have to be on like 180 million views a month to be in the top 100 view channels per month. Wow. Which that's it's a contextually like four years ago, it would probably be like 17, 20 million and you'd be in the top, comfortably in the top 100. Yeah. At one point, I was in top 100 of subs and views. <laughs> I think I was at one wow. point. <laughs> that's just a that's right I But sniping was great back in the day. That's what it was. That, um, was it. that was literally what it was. Still, though, when you first started YouTube, when you hit a K subs, you were like, wow, I've got K subs. Yeah, for sure. 
Like in like back in days, they literally update my now. bio of all the awards. You know, you had to um, yeah, honors. The awards, yeah. You're honors. Yeah. So I was like, number one, most number yeah. one, like, day today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I bang that all the time. That, yeah. I forgot um, about that. People would be like, oh, I've had 72, number one. Yeah, and you hit like yeah. most subscribed gaming. You're like, but you, but that that was when that was when they used to they, they used to do like uh, what were the ratings it was stars instead of thumbs up and stuff yeah, like that yeah. yeah five stars yeah do you yeah. remember that and your video would be like four point seven all the time oh, yeah four point seven yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh, delete that one you'd like some you'd like you'd like some favorites yeah, but yeah. Do, you know, do you know what's mad that that same graph that you were talking about the other day the person at the top of that graph gets one billion views a month and yeah. I know they're a TV a network company, or yeah. something or a big company but then the next one down is like it's eight, Ryan twice a view probably. It's like, 800 million. 800 million. 800 million a toy channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right like, by the parents oh, of like, it's like. Oh, it's no, like, I've seen that. Yeah, like, it's a, a little, a little kid plays with toys and yeah, other kids sure. watch him playing with toys. It really makes sense, though. It like, does, yeah. But it's that's backwards. Like, imagine, like, you look for an Argos catalogue and you as a kid. Yeah. It's, oh, a, it's, it's the same it's thing. A, it's it's a, a, this, is, this is like, this is literally. Ticking shit that you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually. I'll give it to my mum, she'd give it back to me. Sorry. Anything you even could think you want. Bangalore and the Little Woods, Little Woods. Don't forget Little Woods. Oh, that wasn't me actually. Too, too old. Woods, too no. old. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, You're only one. Oh, yes. <laughs> Someone's older than me on my channel. Hey. I can't have an old comment. Bye. A year. Fully a year <clears throat> or months. I get a trophy for that. Got a trophy over there. No. No. I get, no. No. I oh, still, I still got that number one best dad mug for your birthday. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we got one. What's he got? He's got a trophy. <laughs> Bit of foil. No, just just <laughs> I thought he was going to throw me the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my God. Where the hell was I, okay. Where the hell was I before that? Jake Paul's banging up. He's old, apparently. I'm old. Prior to that one. <laughs> um, go and ask me some of the questions that I saw on a bit of paper earlier that you wanted. Bang out Lewis, do that. Go on. What, 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 what was it? Yeah, I saw a little table. secret with a couple um, names on it. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, yeah, one of... This, yeah, talk about, you know, beef tracks and controversy and shit. Your little situation with Rice, rice Gum a little while ago now, actually. Well, yeah, it was ages ago now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you want to explain? I suppose most people would have seen that. Yeah, would yeah. have seen what's going on there. Um, I think explain it roughly. Yeah, I'll explain it quickly. So I watched Rice Gum from the beginning. Or like, yeah, when he was just starting to blow up. Mm. The kid made sick videos, like sick videos. And uh, I followed him, tweeted him. We started DMing a little bit and it was all cool. I met with him at um, VidCon. Cool dude. We were going to hang out a little bit more, um, but unfortunately I couldn't. And then uh, and then he came at Bez for a tweet. And I was like... Oh, yeah, so Bez tweeted saying, what, like, rice gum's a dickhead? <laughs> yeah, rice gum's a dickhead or something like that. I mean, not I mean, not like, very nice, but... Yeah, I think rice gum was like flexing in a vlog or something. It was about yeah. the YouTube, um, him not being in YouTube... Trend, uh, uh, awards, some awards. End of the year, sh- what the hell is uh, it called? It, was it not the awards? Rewind. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're getting old. That We're getting, was I was about to say that. He was in a YouTube Rewind, so he made like a big video about it and was just like, yo, I... He was right. He 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 made he got four million Many subs point, in yeah. six months or something like that, or whatever it was, or a year, or something like that. So he had a point, but he didn't do it the right way. Yeah, he and was then, saying like, "Why am I not in it? I've got, I've got this many like yeah, subscribers throughout yeah. the year." He could I have been a little be. bit more humble, maybe. maybe. Yeah. So then Bez obviously has gone like, "Well, you're you're in. like fuck it, why, why? Just as a reaction. I, I yeah, thought tweet, it to be yeah. fair. Yeah, like, like, I did why, watch why, the video why, and, yeah. I, and I thought you, you acting like a bit because it comes across like self entitlement. Yeah, because a lot of people say, "Oh, why, why aren't we in it?" But we don't ever. Yeah, that's one of my goals. That's like, that's like, if you get it on re- YouTube Rewind, you're then, then you've made it. Yeah, I, I think our time's passed. No, no, no. Unless you make a huge comeback. <laughs> I've just started daily vlogging. What do you mean by a time, Scott? <laughs> we need um, some investment money first. Oh, let me say one thing the actually. That I'm never going to be in that. You know why? Because the levels today were. I went to watch Sarah perform at uh, Soho House Festival. And uh, YouTube was sponsoring the whole event, <clears throat> and they didn't get in contact with me. But Sarah's playing. Sarah's playing. So your girlfriend's playing and stage, they and they and they they know that we're together. And I didn't get an invite. Maybe they assumed <clears throat> you'd be coming though. Cool. Be or maybe not, the like, person organising has no idea. Yeah. Who the hell you are? Because oh, obviously well, there's only sections. Certain YouTube. people did like say hello to me today. They were all nice. Though. I'm sure they didn't have anything to do with it. If you did, then invite me next time. But yeah, yeah, it's just those levels where it's like. They sometimes they're like so on you and they help out and at the moment YouTube are being great to me like they're supporting the daily blogging they're 
they've been super nice. But before that, I'd like never heard of from them. And now I never hear from them. Anyway, that was a tangent. Go back to what I was saying. Rice gum. <laughs> Quickly, look. Philly D's ever been in YouTube Rewind either, I don't think. Yeah, but I don't think they really like him. He's a fucking G. He's an OG he and he's doing his thing, man. Like, he does it so well. What he does, yeah. he does so well. Yeah, right. Sorry, yeah, no, no, it's gone. fine. No, I've Tangents. got a, res- a lot of respect for. Yeah, for Philly. Philly. He's I like, got told that I look like, like him as well. He's someone who have grown. Is so he's grown to come one of my favorites over time. I think it's up with maturity. The older I've got, the more I've liked him. Well, it was one of those ones. Like I used to watch him religiously, and then I kind of just fell off that. And I feel like drama and news came. You know, Keemstar started a new wave potentially, really. And now I'm back into it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I don't think they like each other very much. I see a couple of tweets from Keem at Philly D and. Nothing could be back. friendly competition though um, but yeah anyway Rice Gum yeah met him blah 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 saw that tweet he made that diss track I thought the diss track was whack um, and I was like you know what I can I can do better and I was like I, I, f- I feel like I've got a, a knack for this diss track thing I should have bloody seen it and hopped on it sooner and you could have been talking to, it could have been talking about all kinds of it's different stuff here. it's like you just it's just, you don't expect Cal to come out and go, all right, yeah, I'm going to write all this. Yeah, it's really surprising over time. Though. And pe- people were like... Um, I want to see Big do this track. That's one thing. Yeah, yeah that will break, that that will break the internet. Yeah. As a Kim Kardashian moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, as well as him that's... scoring in the final no, minute you know, like, of the Simon match. That should have happened yeah, as well. Yeah, like Kim Kardashian did that whole photo shoot and it was like, break the internet. We break the internet. Oh, like right, a yeah. champagne bottle that the water went that way. Yeah. Through a bum crack or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> something stupid. <laughs> but yeah, it was then like, so Vic just dropped a diss track on someone. I mean, incredible. Drops one. It has to be good though. Jake Paul. It has to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if it could be terrible, no. If it's terrible, it wouldn't work. No, no, no. It has to be good. Because imagine him spitting straight flames. Like, like Rice Gum's flow, Rice Gum's current diss track is getting played on TV. You know the music channels, the hip hop, no. the R and B, the it's, it's no. wavy. It's, it's a good. Ch- <laughs> and, is and, and Alessia, yeah, is it Alessia? Alessia, 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 she sounds sick on it as well. She makes that tune. So that yeah. So, so you did a. This track on Rice Gum, yeah. to which he didn't respond. No, he commented. So that it it did, however many views. I don't know. I don't think it even banged. It just it didn't did. bang initially. I don't think. No, it, it did well. It had like a hundred thousand likes after a certain amount of time, like two days. And I was like, "You haven't banged." Like, ah, oh, yeah. okay. no, I'm not going to go tangent. I was going to go like you know how certain channels they killed them in the past, oh, like, like Mystery the, the, Guitar the Man, Storm, and yeah. The, I just they were like the world. they were. Killed. Anyway, so, uh, and he commented saying, um, yo, this was fire, or this was straight fire. And I pinned his comment, because I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you respected it. Then everyone everyone started going at him, being like, you've got to respond, you've got to respond. He didn't respond. He put it in a video that he would respond and put played a bit of my yeah. clip. He actually, like, up the, up the speed or the tempo of it, so he didn't get auto-claimed as well. But I wasn't going to claim a video, don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, I sure. find it all funny. You're not that guy. And then, no, no, no. no, 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 no even though I need the money. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, he didn't respond. And I think, you know, I watched all of his videos. He probably didn't know, he watched all of mine. So he, like, I knew way more about him. I'd met him. He acted like that with my girl. Like, I had dirt on him. Like, there's no so way he can really respond. respond. Do you think because you think he didn't have the material? <laughs> or do you think you made it same together and then gone, this is just not good enough? Without sounding like a big headed, I, I think potentially mine was was pretty good. Like I went, I went, I didn't stop. I went at him for like three yeah, and a half minutes. It was pretty good. good. And um, actually, I wasn't going to upload it originally. I, I showed it to a couple of my friends, and they they didn't they didn't go like wow or raw like that was good. Or, so I wasn't actually going to upload it, but then I'm so glad I did because it it actually, popped that was off. a cow video. You just went, oh, no, you know what? Screw that one. That's the thing. That man. was a, that was a list of videos. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, yeah, so you actually probably would have like yeah, you probably wouldn't have gone for it. I had it on a voice note on my phone. I was showing it to people, and they were just like, oh yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. You played it to me in the casino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, you were like, you, yeah, <laughs> you were like, it's like, good, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, man. And then I shot a music. This is the thing as well about oh, yeah. stuff not being good enough. I shot one music video where I just did like the basic, like spitting into something, two shots, and I edited it together. And I was like, it's not good enough. So it delayed it by another two days. Because one of my lyrics is, "You took a week to come up with that shit," yeah. and my video came out a week later than his. I was going to pop it off forty-eight hours later, and no, it went up a week later because I wasn't happy with the music video. So yeah, just. So yeah, my Imagine brain, my, my brain's fucked. Bro. <laughs> so, like, so I guess you haven't really got any bad feelings towards him because no, you've no. said that. Oh, like 
His new track's good. On a real though, like and he said he better, better he better he better like step up his game because if someone comes at me again or does anything of of that of that in that way or it goes at one of my friends, I will come back with something like equivalent. And I'll and I'll make and I'll keep making Take them. that crown, boy. So I need, I need, especially if you actually need someone to come out one of us. Yeah, like, happen. It could be good for us all. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, bro. Look at the wave it just sent out across that yeah. whole group. Yeah, on, on a real. I, I'm 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 so ready. Like I can I can write so easily. Like stuff, it, it comes so easily. I think we should have strategized the whole beef between all of us. Like there should be a side men beef. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Well, we're, 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 not, we're, not, we're not. We're not smart enough. No, no, we are. <laughs> no, we're not smart enough. We fully bro. are. We're not smart no, enough. No, because we, we've said these things loads. But it's just we just like. Yeah, just but that, that, that the, smart, the, the that? smartness, if that's not a word, but <laughs> in you, that you, you just put the JJ right. The more smart. More <laughs> smart. said we're more smart. No, you're more cleverer. <laughs> he says what the more like. cleverer thing to do uh, would be to do it, and we didn't do it, so we're not smart enough. So that was what it boils down to. But but because we we create these own barriers to entry for ourselves for no reason. Yeah. Is it a UK thing? Is it so so the pillar space, so so that me and you, both and Lewis, we're all from London. Yeah. I feel like London culture is you have to be like street smart, you've got to be like cool, you just and you've got and you you never you never overextend. No one ever overextends it out of anywhere. You're not you're not no one's ever too wacky. Maybe maybe less so recently. Yeah. Because it's becoming so much since the internet it's come so much more like Easy just to be at, at what you want, and it's acceptable. It's accept like you can be, you can be like gay, anything. You can, it doesn't matter. Everyone's accepting of that, especially in London as well. So, do you think like because we we all been raised on this mentality of like you have to be like just very straight edge, like just normal. Well, just British fitting, people are straight down the middle. Like yeah, we're, we're not one side or the other. We're not like wacky. We're not no. like like how many wacky people do you know? Like, we, we are realistically, we are wacky to most people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're still so tame. Yeah. This, so yeah. Ben said something the other day that was really interesting. Ben's my camera guy. You might have seen him in some of my videos. Uh, works with me on after party as well. Um, good, yeah. He said something to me. He 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 shot some behind the scenes for that Jeremy shoot, the Which test one? me video. Oh okay, yeah yeah. So he was there before we'd even met, right? He, he was there me. taking pictures and videos behind the scenes, and uh, he said. Man, I was taken back. I walked into a room of like thirty super charismatic people. Yeah, and then he, and he was like just shocked that there were that there were this many people in a room that had this much energy, and it's just like we probably are the wacky people. Yeah, so so. No, you no, meet no. us in the street, we're not going to be like that. But if, when when the camera's on, we are. But I think even even like in person, we can be somewhat wacky and more out there. I think YouTube, oh, yeah. YouTube's put that out of all of us anyway. We just brought out more of our wacky sides and it's just been exact, like YouTube's a more exaggerated version of our whole group anyway. Yeah. But then, like in America, especially in LA, say, you're just, they're raised to be superstars. Like, they're, they're taught that like, in schools, you're like, you have to be the best at everything. It's like, the American dream. Yeah, like, is that, exactly. Yeah. And everything's so competitive, whether that be, you have to get involved in sport at school. And it's this whole thing of like, you have to be better than everyone else, regardless. And people move from Texas from New York, from maybe not less so New York, but other places, Pennsylvania, Ohio. wherever, Ohio, I can just get my geography out. <laughs> they moved to LA to make it. Yeah, and especially like, in LA. That's like, a known thing. Well, YouTube and is that's, like That's crazy, in. where'd you move? I'm gonna move to London to make it. Yeah, what? no, never seen <laughs> no? anyone ever, yeah. Well, for, some, for anyone outside of Manchester, oh, yeah. Bristol, then maybe that is the case. Yeah, for sure. Maybe, maybe but that's, I feel like maybe it's a different a... make it. It's like a, I'm gonna go and, Get an office job. Get an office job. Because you didn't know Yeah, because no jobs. Yeah, I uh, suppose paid. I might be generalizing there, but yeah, people out there are like, they don't even have a plan. No. They go to LA, they'll turn up to some um, casting sessions, the correct casting, casting sessions. Casting couch. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, and that's it. And they'll just, they'll, you know, drive Uber or they'll do this. I've, I've had, gotten so many Ubers in LA where they're just like, yeah, it, yeah, I came over here, just drive Uber. And uh, I've got a couple of scripts that are being read at the moment, and I'm, I'm got an, I've got a audition tonight, and that's it. And you they get just keep you get that in London. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. No, but the LA is it's la la land, isn't it? It's yeah. Yeah, but, and, like, but 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 that, that is, that is YouTube is popping in LA. If you go through the graph of who's growing the most, yeah, it's it is majority. Price comes there now. LA living and. Phase like, as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does it there. Like they moved from New York to LA, probably for a similar reason. Yep. Um, were they in New York? They yeah, were they were. York, yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. So they the, over the past year they moved to LA. So they've yeah they've literally moved from somewhere who, which from is east to west. sick. 
to somewhere where, where they know they're going to be which is like a paradise better, for, for sure around for them, yeah. like, you, like you go to LA for like a week and you suddenly like you cross past the people who you would not cross past yeah, in yeah, London yeah and there's like whether it be house parties in the hills whether it be anything there's only people around who are all bro I was, I was out there with a gang hmm. you weren't no you weren't yeah, there no, no, no. Simon in that and every single night we pretty much went to a different house party there's always someone who's big unreal. there unreal there's someone big there and it was like yeah cheat codes had a house party I didn't know who they were before that. I heard their music, but I didn't know Cheat Codes to music. And then now I've now you see them, they've got something in charts at the moment, I think. Yeah, they do, yeah. Jeez. So crazy. And it's just like, well, why am I going there? Like, I know, but you, they don't know yeah, me. Yeah, but it's, it's like, like, I think it's something like, it's like a, it's like a social ladder out yeah. from what I perceive yeah, as a lot, There's a lot of social climbing out there as well. Like, there's a lot of people And who, fakeness too, by the sounds of it. Who are, are, are fully there. for the wrong reasons. Yeah, which I don't think really you experience as much in London. I don't think we've even, no. like, us opening, I guess. No, there's a couple. Our like, circles feels yeah. like it's quite closed, even though it is very open. There is a lot of love in London, though. Like, I feel like London, like, if, if uh, maybe it's a UK thing now that UK is popping, popping now. Oh, her music. In terms sure, of music yeah. and other stuff as well, though. But like, the culture's popping as well. Everyone's just in general, yeah. yeah like, just, the, like, words, fashion, fucking everything. They, like, America is finally, and the rest of the world, while well, Europe were on it, on it right, earlier. Yeah. But uh, America is the big time. Yeah. They're finally picking up on it. And like, there's a lot of love in the UK, in well, in the UK and London in general, just to support each other. Whereas I guess LA doesn't, to me, I've, I've never been there in my life. Yeah. It doesn't project come. that sort of vibe. In Vegas, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's <laughs> a bit mental. How old are you? 23. Old party. 23, that's old enough to, old enough to, to, Vegas to, to Vegas again. Yes. Yeah. Oh, don't. <laughs> That was mental. <laughs> that was mental. This is it. Okay, see, so like in Vegas, everyone's like everyone you speak to is so friendly and really like charismatic and loud. Yeah. And then you go to London, and as they get on the tube, and it's like, right. But people yeah. are people are people are kind. But it's though, changing, but they're not chatty. That like I feel like people in London like if say someone's struggling to get their pram or their or their bike on the tube and the doors are looking yeah. like they're going to shut people will help them not, not allowed bikes though. on tube Lewis sorry yeah <laughs> but, but not always are you not no you actually not uh, wheelchairs yeah. then I tried it I tried it when I was a little little teen and it kicked Road you straight ramp. off they really? stopped the train someone gets an announcement no. I learned the hard way anyway sorry so yeah, point I, I agree gonna, the whole point I'm going to make say like someone like Jake Paul or Logan comes into London imagine mm. Logan vlogging in London oh my god the looks yeah. you'd get for yeah. one, I like mean, Vic did Pokemon Go, right? So I'm not the best at vlogging. Whether that be like confidence in public, I think that's the same thing. Of like, I think too much about what everyone else around me is thinking. Like, why is this dickhead got a camera filming himself? But then Pokemon Go last summer, shout out Pokemon Go, we're in Pokemon t-shirt right now. Um, it's, yeah. anniversary, it's anniversary today. I think that's why I'm wearing it. Is it right? Oh, and yesterday, you're, you're that kind of guy. Pokemon, fashion statements Pokemon for anniversary. Pokemon Go anniversary, yeah. Holy, that game, look, you know your anniversary. He know his. He knows his. All right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so that, that, that game popped off. It was, it, sorry, he knows his Pokemon anniversary. Yeah, but not, exactly. not, not, not free. <laughs> no, fuck that. But the, 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 the sick thing is, like, that game kind of like crossed a bridge for me because it, it's that comfort zone thing. Yeah, I was so engrossed in this game. But I'm there in London shouting. Mm. Yeah, I'd be in Piccadilly Circus shouting at a Pokeball. I got a dragon now. Yeah. Oh, Vic falling over in the middle yeah, of like, no. like, Yeah, like screaming. Like, we was by Buckingham Palace. Rolls around on the floor screaming because he like lost a Lapras, right? <laughs> like, in front of like the, the guards. The guards. Yeah. With guns. <laughs> yeah. But you imagine us going, okay, right, Vic, right, we're going to do a little like David Dobrik kind of scene here. Yeah. And we're going to set a thing where you're going to do something that's going to happen. You're going to fall over and scream on the floor. Mega loud. We're talking it's mega loud when he yeah. screamed. That would never happen hmm. because you'd, we'd all think too much. Like, oh no, but this is like bait. Like, this is bait, and it's like wrong, wrong area to be doing this right now. Yeah. Yep. It's the same way. Like, if it's, but then even in, in so like, if I say if I'm blog, blogging in London, I would think twice about where I'm blogging on the basis of how many people are around, who was around, where I was. But in like, so, so, so my point of being like, so someone like Logan comes into London, mm. he doesn't give. A, he does, no. doesn't care. I, I was just gonna say like, maybe that's. The cultural difference between British YouTubers and LA. LA is notoriously like it's, it's a film. You, you, people go there to act, mm. to do film. Yeah, it's not real. And maybe that's where these vlogs, where people are like, where you wouldn't feel comfortable doing it. People go there to LA, and in their what's it called? Team Team Ten is it? Team Ten. Maybe yeah. that's why people get recruited there because it's like it's like the new version of LA. It's like it's like the new acting. Is them doing vlogs and like setting things up. Everyone, well, oh, it fully is. May, maybe not everyone knows it's set up. Some people who young, maybe younger people wouldn't realize, but majority of people know it's set up. But it's still entertaining. 
And maybe that is the new path for like being an actor in LA. For like, and maybe, for that, maybe, maybe be, that's yeah, a cultural sure, yeah. difference between you guys and most other UK YouTubers and, well, not all American, but YouTubers in LA. That's a cultural difference. You guys, you, you don't like to do things maybe that what you feel will like be um, like the fidget spinner thing that you think would. Yeah. Because I guess the point is it seems untrue to us. It's yeah. that integrity of like, but then are we you, caring too much? You want a like, certain like, you yes. want a certain I like fully, right? air about you as a YouTuber. That's right. that, my, whole, my whole thing right now is break any mold I'm in. Like, because I'm we're so set in our ways of this is why you do things. And my whole saying I always put out is evolve or be extinct. And YouTube is an ever changing platform, always has been, always will be. We, I used to snipe back in the day, spin around off buildings like a lunatic, right? Ratings. So, that, so we, did you, right? Yeah. yeah. And we, we, we all thought that was cool. It was at the time, man. It's, it's still then, fucking cool now. And, if someone, you that, and then someone like, no, it's not as much. I mean, not, it wouldn't get well, views, but I, I still think it's doing. cool. You can't see what they're doing. And, and, it, and, it, yeah. Yeah. and when, 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 that's, when that's evolved so much, that, that platform has evolved so much in itself that it's now stupid and it's unrelatable, unreachable, and it almost seems fake. Not that it is, it's just, it's harder to achieve, therefore less people are inspired to go do it. Mm. Then someone like CNN has come in with like the more face cam comment, or uh, commentaries, and initially Hutch, someone like, yeah, loads of commentaries. They would be. Changed the game, like, and, and it's like, oh, you need to speak, and like to do, I need to speak and to mouth to a microphone. That was a whole new thing. Like, wait, I've got to talk to a laptop. I feel really uncomfortable. Like, when I first did a commentary, hey guys. I remember shit, that actually, I remember that. That was the worst thing to experience, especially when you live with your parents as well, right? Because this whole YouTube thing was like, well, what is this right now? My mum thought it was a scam. Yeah, no, for sure. Dad did as well. <laughs> like, legit. And, and it makes sense. And, and when I look back at for my age now, I'm like, yeah, for sure. Like, I would have said the same thing. If my, if my son came around to me and said, yeah. Yeah, you talk at your laptop. And you're going to pay for that. You get or even $300 a month. In, in my case, what you, you spin around on a game, shoot people, put music on it. Yeah, you get paid for that. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't even make sense. So, why, that, why is it not a scam? Stop, and it's stop not, taking a piece. Like, yeah, some company in America called Machinima. Yeah. Like they're going to start paying me, yeah. Dad, just and so you, you know. Sign please, the contract please sign the contract when you're, when you're underage. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you got your dad. <laughs> your, your, dad's like, your dad's like making sure they're not exploiting you in some way. Like, yeah. and then doesn't I think I was to sign that. I think misses I the, the word that says in perpetuity. Yeah, Jeez. but I was fine. I was good. I was on it. I was, really? I was before that time. But I got out of it. So I was so good. early. Um, yeah, so then the commentary thing with Hutch, and then like more who came through with the video commentaries, like CNNers. So I've got my face out there now. comes along and goes, yo, what's up? Yeah, I mean, like, Call of Duty died a little bit, and then, like, the whole FIFA, everyone, like, kind of, like, migrated. So, like, Vic was... Evolved. Doing, yeah, Vic was doing Call of Duty back then, and he migrated to and evolved. He put, opened a Minecraft channel because, like, oh, CNN has done this Minecraft game. It looks like it's doing quite well. I might try this as a separate avenue. So I have two kind of, like, revenue streams of, if this fails, I've got something else. You've got Throwing plan B. to Minecraft. You've got a plan B, and, and that was the thing. Um... And forever that's consistently changed. I'll be like, so yeah, Jay did the FIFA, and everyone jumps in that wave of like, I need to start like adding music and stuff and editing and, and no, shouting editing. like him. Yeah. yeah. And everyone did it. Trends will come and go and always have done. Same way. So then we did our football challenges and they popped off. Mm-hmm. And then I uploaded one yesterday and it got 200,000 views. Yeah. Because. And that was an auto. You make a football challenge back in the day and it would get a million views in 24 hours. That was your guarantee. Yeah. Like. You, you make other content, you make a football video, everyone get, six of you get one, all get a million views, all growing massively, it's gone. Yeah, because it's been beaten to the ground by everyone. <laughs> Just dab on camera. I'm oh, sorry. That's <laughs> it's been beaten to the ground by like everyone. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been, I love a good dab. Put a Pokemon over him. <laughs> but yeah, so then everyone did, has done the football challenges and now it's like, okay, for the UK scene, who's going to step up and start this new way for us, right? Because we, we can't always follow the footsteps of the LA scene because for the football stuff, that wasn't following one from someone. That was like, okay, I, I did a crossword challenge video in 2011 with a kid of my mates from school. Yes, like that I was, was using like that's, sixth that's, form. Yeah, I was in sixth form. We had a media lesson. She, she, the teachers didn't turn up. So he was like, let's go play football. We used to play that at, at lunch. And I had my camera because I was doing photography at the same time. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let's just literally make a parody of Soccer AM. And that's literally a video on my channel called Crossbar Challenge. I hide my face with a ball and say that, because the whole thing was like, I didn't want to have, I refer to it as that, the Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana thing of like, I liked being this Zerka thing online, but I didn't want to have that in person, in real yeah, life. I didn't yeah. want people in school knowing, like, oh, like, you I remember this. When we met it, was, it was nerdy back then, yeah. Yeah, I, we, 
Oh, that's an early fam. We, <laughs> we uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I, 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 I didn't know what you looked like before I met you. I don't think. I think, I think yeah, or, or no, I think you did, but like, not like obviously, like from I photos. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Do you remember, do you remember how we met? I want to, I want to yeah. touch your knowledge. We were on our way to get Call of Duty five days early. Um, we met on the tube at Canary Wharf. You North. came from North yeah, Greenwich. Yeah. I met you at Canary Wharf. And we went somewhere. And we met a dodgy guy in a car park. <laughs> it sounds like drugs for Didn't, it's yeah, Call of no, Duty. So we did we both go or did I go? No, no, no. So, no so we um, he, he, he pushed you out there. No, no, like, so we went to was, was like an MW3. Right. Yeah. And it was like five, six days early. We was, what, what, we were so, we were so, like, we, that we found that like, we found a connect. We were so gas. We was like, so gas. Potential connect here. We did all nighter uh, mm-hmm. trying to get this. So we saw some people, some people got it early. And back then, you got a game early. That oh, was like, you'd bang that was videos. channel changing because yeah. you had, you could bang videos for six days or five days before, drop them all what release day. And it was the, or when the embark, when you when see people, drops. when, no, it was when you see people aren't getting their videos taken, taken down, down anymore. Yeah, you jumped on it. Yeah. You for jumped sure. on it. Yeah. Um, Use them as bait. Yeah, so we went. It was somewhere in we went, yeah. we went somewhere in North and got off the tube, and then some guy was in a car, and you got in the car, and yeah, you, just, seat, you, you, you just you just went for it. Yeah, got in a car, go front seat, and I was like, and he looked, he was dodgy, blacked out windows and stuff. Yeah, Sorry like, if you're watching this, but yeah, I, mean, I was like, this is booky. Like, I'm not Very sure I want to get in the car, you, and, and it, like, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna stay outside the car, and I'll just be here. And that was that was by the window, but I was like. If this gets dicey, I'm just going to be here. I don't, it was only me and you. I don't know how yeah. we're, what we're going to do. And we were, we were young, like not not super young, but young enough for someone to be like, we just, we just got give me your up. money yeah, and got, like, you knew, give me a phone. Yeah, we bought six copies, right? Because we, yeah. we bought copies for, for our mates. Yeah, yeah. We were like, we saw people out. We were the plug. <laughs> yeah. And like, so we, and that was it. That, that, that was like how you and Cal met, though, because yeah. we'd always we'd spoken bare before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we used like, to bring like you used to come into my me streaming zombies. You'd bring Syndicate in, and he was that guy, and I'd just be sitting there going, "Don't die, don't die." <laughs> like, level thirteen, like where the zombies are. Like, right, let's play it safe. Let's go get Juggernaut again. Like, <laughs> and Tom was banging. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, yeah, with his trains and that. <laughs> yeah, zombie trains. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The R word. I was like, the R word. The train videos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was his way of like. Yes, yeah, so that, that was how me and Calvin. That's a funny story, actually. It's a good story. Yeah, and then where was we? <laughs> no. Crossbar challenge videos is yeah, where yeah, you started yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like you. You're good. Yeah, Thanks, that's, that's, that's your job from now on. That's, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's all I do. I'm just like the anchor for where you need to go back to. Yeah, the anchor. Yeah. anchor. Oh, thanks. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> um, yeah, so then. Yes, yeah, so I did that early, realistically, but it wasn't like. I mean, that was just a parody of Soccer AM. Obviously, we all, as a group, was like, "Yeah, like footballs. We all love football." It's just we had uh, soccer dome mm-hmm. in Greenwich. In oh, North Greenwich. That, that, that place is like Dave, old school David Beckham Academy. Yeah, DB Academy. Yeah. Very, very good. That was like the best location. <laughs> if that still, place still existed, that video is more probably would have done over the time because it came a bit of an effort, like booking it. Yeah, and the issues with the pitch, where it'd be like people oh, in the background, people in the background screaming, like or interrupting. People videos. are clever as well. These these viewers are clever. They. They shout and say stuff when you're kicking the ball. When you're kicking the ball, because they know that's going to go in the video, and then you have to cut things out. And you're yeah, like, oh, you have to take it. Or again. you take you take some dead audio from somewhere else and put it over yeah, there. Yeah, to fake long. the background noise. And some of them were quite rude as well. Like I don't know what it what it was about like football places, but some viewers were quite rude, which is like, so you don't like, want to see a lot, that. A lot of that is that area. Yeah, potentially. Like that area isn't the best of areas. Like people have been, or you've heard people have been stabbed on that pitch. So yeah. really, yeah. Oh right, okay. But like, I feel like God posts attack. Like, 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 like fights have broken out of that. Like, Any Josh? Before. I, I f- go on. Like, but this is like, like people doing it. People, people talk, <laughs> we're talking about people doing it at like late, late at night though. Like people breaking into the pitch. Oh, not. oh okay. Well, I feel, for example, I filmed over in LA with JJ. Uh, we were both over there at the same time. Hooked up, found a football pitch. Obviously, he's big out there too. Couple of kids recognised me. Loads of kids recognised him, and they were fine. They were all blessed. Like kept quiet. Actually, got off a pitch so that we could record. Yeah. And they were doing training. I, I think I think that's probably the area that, that was those videos we, that pitch we used yeah. is. I mean, in other areas where we filmed, I think the kids are much more like welcoming and friendly. Yeah. Like, look, and we're not talking so about everyone, by the way. Like people that live there. I grew up in East London. I was born in Whitechapel, East London, all my life. That's where I record the videos. But some kids were just rude. Like, it's just, it's just it's any, it's anywhere you go. Yeah, there could be two out of a hundred, and it makes it's like, oh, he's ruined the video. But the yeah, rest that, of the kids are sweet. But that's yeah. But that's, those are the ones you remember as well. Yeah, yeah that's like, like comments. 
Like yeah, two well, negative. No, not anymore. No, remember? no. Remember? Yeah, but no, but like, no, but most people do YouTube. They'll get two comments that say something bad. Yeah. And I forget the 98 positive ones because you just, in your head, that's what plays on you and that's what you need to get past. Yeah. That's the main thing you need to get past. So as soon as you get past that, you're like, oh, that like doesn't matter. Definitely. And even then, like, you might have a thousand comments, but you got a million views. Mm. Yeah. It's people might have video. minority. Yeah, those people might have got left the video and gone, that video was sick, but only a thousand of people have actually said anything about yeah. it. So, yeah. But regardless, where was we? The anchor was initially fucking crossbar still okay, yeah. man. Anchor but man. I don't know where we came from from that so <laughs> don't look at me so the, the <laughs> anchor mate the one, what you're supposed to remember is what, who, who in the UK scene is going to step up and change the same cup so like Nightscape came through and did the I think the climbing stuff where he broke mm. into like West Ham and stuff and climbed. very good the, very yeah good. like he's a, a like sick sick YouTuber mm. he's, like, he's, he's, like, he's one of my favourite YouTubers so anyway and super nice guy I think he was at Test Me Shoot right it was that Sesame Shoot. He, he was, was the, the guy jumping runner. about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That Sesame Shoot is like, like the hub. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think he's like a sick, sick YouTuber who I think like could do more and more. But the issue is like there's only stuff. so many billions. Yeah. You know, he, it's limited. He, he's a very good content creator in general. So I think camera stolen. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's not, yeah, not Paris. safe. Yeah, that's it's not what he's doing is not safe. But I respect it. Very highly. Definitely. I feel like he's. I want to do a video of him soon. Yeah, for sure. I, I've said that's what I think. I've actually DM'd him and said like, same. We we fully all work together. I think everyone has. We fully work together. But trust me, I am not doing anything illegal. I'll and do I was, it. I was like, I'll do it. I want to climb some shit. If we're doing a climb, <laughs> trust me, it's better be an easy climb. So I can barely climb my fence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, gonna climb the fence in my garden. And he's like, yeah, I've, I've got you. I like, think I think I most, of the things, most of the no, things. Most of the things that he does. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Always plug. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Buy your merch, 10% off in it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I called it merch. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I realised after I said it, it's not merch, trust me. That's uh, like 10% off. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, my, I, from what I see from his videos, most of the stuff that he does isn't like jumping, like doing this. No, no, it's not. You know, it's just that it's, it's climbing over a fence. And then it's a ladder and it's climbing over someone else. And that climb, that might be hard. Espionage is what it is, kind of. It's yeah. like getting past Curie and like, mm. and oh, like that trying to self alarms. And oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a, it's a civil offence. If you get caught, it's a civil offence. It's not yeah. a criminal offence for the most part. Is that right? Pretty sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure if you're caught. Why, like, why do all this stuff get jacked then? Because uh, civil. Because it wasn't are... a civil. Oh, oh, the airspace. Yeah, you can't oh. go in. It was, you thought it was abandoned and it wasn't, I think. I'm actually I'm not entirely sure, space. so I wouldn't trust me on that one. Um, but yeah, I think, I think you get caught like, um, like trespassing on a building, climbing it. It's a civil offence. So they'll take your name down, note it all down. It'd be, it'd be read, like note it down, but they can't really arrest you for it unless the person who owns the building wants to press charges. That's when it changes, I think. And what what does that? What can they do? Just then you'll go to court for trespass. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not enti- I'm not entirely that clued up on it. I'm sure like he he will be more than clued up yeah. on it. So if he still does it, I'm sure like... Neat scat, DM me. Because it is, because obviously, another thing is like, we're bait as well. <laughs> so you can't say get away with it. Like Yeah, true. Yeah. Imagine like shop it. Like, do, do you ever have shoppy Yob when you was a kid? It's like in, what is that? It's like a paper like, shopper, shopper. man. And they had like photos up of people who had like, been like graffiti in on buses. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was like, do you know these faces? <laughs> yes, I, I do. Like, I watched their videos. Yeah, it was like, it's me, you. Crime watch. And, and Nightscape just like, climb the building. And you're like, oh. Josh falling <laughs> off a fence on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> like, my arse hanging out, stuck behind a fence. Like, <laughs> that would be me. That Absolutely. would be me. Yeah, he's someone who's sick. That he's someone I think he could, he could do something. Yeah. I think like what you're doing currently, no, we'll get into it now, right? Yeah. So it's so, like, you're daily vlogging now. Yeah. I think what you're doing currently is has potential to push past. If anyone, like anyone out of our whole group right now is going to do something, it's going to be you. Yeah. Thank Merely you. because like, I'm not, this, is, this almost sounds like I'm like just dogging on every one of our mates, but like, I feel like you're someone who's doing something different to what you normally do. You're breaking your current system. I think that's what it's, that's what it's all about. Right? I'm making an effort yeah. to do that as well. Like, so say, yeah, say to, for, for any of us lot currently doing videos, like our group, if, if I'm, here's episode 38 of Packed Out, like, I'm not, I'm not going to grow. It's That's, not going to go viral. These are what you call sustainable videos. The videos yeah. that just sustain your audience and they, 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 they build your audience, they develop your audience to become more hardcore and... That's how you, 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 you generally enjoy making. It's like a job. Like, you make that episode, you know people enjoy it. That's so a ritual. You found yeah. that. So it's just like you going to work. You go to work, you make that video. It's like a low-risk so video. And then you, you earn from that video and you grow and you keep your channel alive. That's a good business model that way. Like, a, like say like... Samsung, let's only turn around and go tomorrow. 
Well, from now on, we're gonna start making glasses. And I mean eyewear, I mean actual glasses. Like, yeah. like the company like that won't, they'll, 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 set, they'll be set in their ways and they might not innovate. Someone like Apple, I guess, like Steve Jobs was an innovator, someone who pushed the boundaries constantly. And I, I, remember, I think he quoted, before he even worked for Apple, he was quoted saying, I think he might refer to Intel or someone. And it's like, once a company monopolizes a market, and it was one, no, once a company stops being run by innovators and creatives and starts being run by marketing teams and people who do PR, they no longer are innovating, they're no longer going anywhere, they're a stagnant company. So with Apple, um, yeah, you, you probably haven't seen like an innovative product from them. Like the watch well, the maybe? Latest, no, the latest MacBook was whack. Yeah, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say anything they've done in the past the watch, five maybe. years has been any what have they done? But the, 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 the watch could the tell times and order Ubers but, but, and send texts via you doing that. Like Was it innovative or someone else done it before? Nah, I don't think it's in it's, it's a digital watch at all. It's just taking their screen from here to here. I mean, it's it's something. It's, it is, it, it, it's it, something it, better than all just. Right, it is. It is. But not yeah, Steve Jobs' not. level of innovative. And like, like he changed the mobile phone industry completely. And I've seen plans of the latest iPhone as well, and it doesn't look that great. All they do is they give you a new color. Oh, so it's, it's, it's gold. Really, nice. it's, 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 it's the issue is like, give me something useful. Give me more yeah, battery life. I heard it might currently. It might have like screen to screen um, glass, with, with like the touch button would be would be on the screen now and you wouldn't have a button anymore. It feels like, like they're kind of like, oh, going, like that's wow. like Samsung though. Samsung Not kind really. of like, exactly, yeah, like yeah. the essay is like massive. It's like yeah. But the thing is, who cares about that? Who needs that? They're I not want really something giving that, you like, anything blows that you your mind. Need. Yeah, give you, give me something that I would never have thought of, but is going to improve my life yeah. and make my life easier day to day. That's exactly what Steve Jobs. Unless did. they've capped on yeah, technology, yeah. like this is. This I, I, is I, I don't think that's true. There's though. never a cap on technology. No. There's there has to be, never there has a cap. Be somewhere. There's not. Unless, uh, they, they thought that when they they thought that when they created the telephone. No, look where we are now. Yeah. Like, they were like, oh, well, how much better can it get now? I, mean, like, I, think, I think there must be a universal cap somewhere, but we're nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. Probably because... It's like quantum physics and everything, like... Well, yeah, but if that's, you know, even... Well, even possible. Google said that they built a quantum co computer the other day, but who knows. Um, What's a quantum computer? I'm dumb down on that. I don't, don't yeah, think there's, I know let's not go into that. it. I'm yeah. sure there are people who will be able to educate, you'll be able to educate yeah. yourself on that. Comments, please. <laughs> <laughs> Essays, but please. But it's a great it's comment. Let's see one of those. Yeah. The two-slit experiment, or three-slit experiment. Whatever it was. Anyway, uh, Apple stagnant. What are we saying? Plug. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the anchor. Remember? Plug anchor. Um, um, no, if so there's I anyone think, that's going to make it, he said they're potentially. No, yeah, no, no, I'm going. I was going back to companies. But like, so the way I was with the companies was, yeah, like you need someone to innovate and change the game. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that statement. Yeah. So yeah. So. But what, so, so Which what, is what you're essentially yeah, so trying yeah, so to do, what, yeah, so what by, you're doing. by being experimental, that's all you're going to do in terms of the UK. I feel right now for the UK, it, we can relate it so much to music in terms of how long has hip hop been a thing and grime was just something different, like just done what we want to do. And I feel like it's like exactly pop. the same. Yeah. Like the US have their, their like um, scripted videos that they do that, that they, they pop because yeah cool but it's like well. yeah it's, they're sick so they're sick. entertaining and that's people David like David Dobrik it. someone that yeah, we haven't actually king. give given and any credit Liza, to Liza Koshy both them two yeah just, Liza Koshy is sick insane so good so yeah. Liza, but yeah. they've got their thing and because of I feel like inherently because of what Americans are like as people they're a lot more theatrical and dramatical Jump, dramatical, dramatic. All right, well, I've been making up words all the. All yeah, we'll, 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 we'll roll with that. Spongooly. Spongooly. They're a lot more th like theatrical naturally. I feel like like a lot more just loud than us. We're quite reserved people. Yeah. What? Why? We don't have to do videos like that. Like I feel like there is a lane that people like you guys can create. In you have to be experimental to create that lane, and that's exactly what it's like with music. Music was ex experimental, and we've created this lane of grime music that people loved, and people that really loved it did it, and now look at it. I know it's been 10 years down yeah. the line or whatever, but if you just, I feel like that's what UK people, I'm wondering, I'm like, wondering that's if... what JJ did as well. He did his own thing with, like, what, what American person liked FIFA before yeah. JJ was JJ, mm. and did that beast shit. Yeah, like, what well, YouTube did that, though. Yeah, you? no one. But, like, I feel like you just got to just be creative, man. I wonder like, if YouTube is... That's, that's, that, I feel like that's with you. Just, I know you don't like some of your videos and some of your ideas, but I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that will love it. Like, perfect. This, we have the same problem. Being a perfectionist is a bitch sometimes. Yeah, yeah like clothing. But those, like, the people watching it won't see that and they'll love it for what it is. Yeah. That's the thing. I feel like, and what you're doing right now is, is a great thing in just 
just like, I've got to make a video a day. Cool. I've got this idea. It's not polished. Fuck it. Do it. Oh, yeah, I think that's and the best that, challenge of it as well. Yeah. But then, but then the problem is, the problem is, is that I'm not growing at the rate that I want to grow. Not but, yet. So it's, 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 it's a thing, right? Yeah. So imagine if like, Scout tell Jamie and that look this whole time like oh I've made this music but true oh my, three my sales are not popping oh, well people stopped people stopped making yeah, yeah they were like the Grime's thing. dead that was yeah. a thing Grime is dead yeah like, and, if you, and the lyrics I don't know who it was the other day it was like ha ha to all you like all you guys that stopped trying to come back now well, yeah yeah it was cheap mm. or something I don't know yeah it's, for, it's, it's for, fully for sure like as long as you believe in what you're doing right now if you think like oh this I'm enjoying this it's good content I'm making and you believe in that whole system then run with it until you are done with it. And if by that point you're done with it on base of you enjoying it, not because the issue with YouTube as well is, which I guess a lot of platforms don't actually get the chance to have, not a lot of like actors that don't get to see is daily you are reminded this isn't working for you. Like you can, you can post these vlogs for the past two weeks say, but daily you're looking there going, well, this isn't changing anything. Like if anything, I'm, it's, it's, it's harming me. So maybe like you might get less subscribers yeah. than you were before. Cause like a lot of audience. No, I am. A lot of audience is like, well, what is this? Why, why have you changed? Like, I, I miss Cal in Leicester Square with like a mic going like. Because I'd only upload 100%, in my opinion, polished videos. They might not be the most incredible videos. Don't think any of my videos are potentially as good as, say, Chris MDs. But like, they they were they were they sat in their own lane. You knew if you watched one of my videos, you'd you'd have a good four minutes and then you'd click off. It's how yeah. I wanted to position myself. Uh, Yes and no, right, to both of you. I think we might have potentially contradicted ourselves because we're talking about evolving, following the trends, staying in our, in our uh, you know, in, in, in this mindset of, of sitting back and just doing us and doing that. Yeah, for sure, exactly. So <laughs> yeah. it's like, we talked about that it's for the first half and now, we'll, and now we'll go, right, let's have this respect, blah, blah, blah. But like, I am getting less uh, subscribers than per day. Um, you know, Deji made that video about it, losing subscribers. Uh, every time you uploaded, but the, let, let's explain that right now, okay? I know what that is. You're you always lose subscribers, okay? Yeah, every day, yeah. Every day you lose subscribers. If we can see in the back end, uh, thirty days, you'll have say you'll have gained a hundred thousand subscribers in that month. You will have lost mm, probably around thirty thousand, right? Yeah, it, it, so you'd have, you'd have got 130. It could change. Yeah, you'd got you'd have got 130, say, but you only got 100 because you lost 30, and that's how it is. People are gaining less subscribers now. Um, it's a lot harder to get suggested and and home and trending doesn't exist, but does exist at the same time. It's a weird one, and unless you're constantly now making a video that gets homepage that does better than the, all of the videos that you had before, you are not growing. That, and that's that's just how it is right now. New velocity is basically this. It, it, and it, it sucks. Yeah, because and and hot knife. Sorry to interrupt you. Hot knife proved that. You know, uh, Deji Deji, uh, not to chat crap about him, but potentially wasn't getting the views that he used to get. He yeah, was sure. probably on six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand views a video, whereas before he'd bang a million views twenty four hours. Bang. Hot knife came along. He did like two million. Then he did another one maybe, and then he did another one. And his channel, after that, all his videos got over a mil. And it's just like, this is the thing that now we're all waiting for. It's like, well, this this is the thing now that I've realized you need to hop on and, yeah, yeah. and you need to do it and, and do it in the right way. As we talked about earlier, we are like, do it in a way that is parody or it is this. And it was true to you. Or, or least, true to you. Yeah. Even if it's you just were going, like, this, this is currently a trend. What is this? Yeah, and, and, and being, and you being can make, upfront yeah, about it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I want to position myself. So, yes, I'd love to stay in this position, but I've been doing it two weeks now. I took a, a couple of days off here and there um, because I'm trying to do other things on the side as well. I, I want to be here today. I want to watch Sarah's gig. You want to live life in time because a lot, a lot of the struggle yeah. with daily vlogs, I guess a lot of people quit over time. People told me not to start. Yeah, because it's like, it's, people, it, ruins people say it ruins your life. Yeah, yeah and it does. Would if you, you ever, see it two weeks in it, it will. Would you consider like a buy daily vlog. I see a lot of people moved to that one recently. Yeah, so David does three or four a week, I think. Yeah, exactly. like that's a whole new medium of like, you can get yourself the prepared. Them, They're quite long. The 420. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 420. Yeah. Yeah. Man, like. Yeah. That's, that's like saying he's done, yeah. 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 But there's a lot of, there's yeah. lot of vloggers out there who do buy daily vlogs. And yeah. literally, I mean like literally. But I don't, don't want to cop out. I don't want to. Yeah, that's the issue that started. And, like, and, and as well, which you guys might or might not know, 
Um, I I work with Ben and Ed, and I've got a manager called Richard. And Ben is behind the camera most of the time. He's also my head of production at, at the company. Ed edits some of my videos. Um, obviously, it's got a lot harder now to film during the day. I don't know, how, you know, this is the Casey Neistat thing. Film during the day, get home, stop stop filming at 11, 12 o'clock and edit till four. And he's up at seven or eight. Running again. And running eight miles. The guy is he sticks not editing as well. human. He said, he said like, he crashes though. Edit. He like crashes he, out he, though. He, he takes control though. Like he says he has to edit. He what? That, like a lot of people say like, so like Casey has editors and a team behind it. No, he doesn't, no. But he's, he's no, openly said him. like, I don't want anyone touching my, my own YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah. Because no one can edit like him. At the moment, we well, know he's he's, you know, he's openly said people can, and I don't it. think they can. He said their editor is more talented than him, like even people he works with closely. Yeah, but it would it would turn out it would turn out to be to be TV. Like they'll they'll have better transitions and stuff, yeah. but it won't be, it won't have that authenticity. It won't have that case. Going, going back to like us yeah. being hypocritical ourselves, I guess that's like the wackiness of YouTube. That's why we. That's why we're able to. Yeah, us, us, us friends have sat here and for years and got, got, we could have our conversation about YouTube all the time. Mm -hmm. It's always ever changing. That's, Hours. That's what, that's anyone who's out there who's like trying to start YouTube. That like, and people always ask, "Oh, so if I start YouTube today, what do I do?" Back in the day, we'd have an answer for you, roughly. No, I, I, I still do. I still do. It's, no, it's no, two no. things. No, okay, so, so consistency and, and originality. You cannot do what someone else is doing. So back in the day, and you, I feel and, like and you know what. I'm trying to do that too, so good luck. And I've been yeah. doing this for six years, and you have so a good luck to push it on to, yeah. Because yeah. I'm trying to do something different. Every I heard day. Last time we had a more structured, we had like back in the day, a more structured answer that f felt made sense. When I said yeah. it, I believed in it. Yeah, that's, that wasn't my answer back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So like when I when I when I, I gave someone, my challenge, <laughs> when I, when I, when I, basically, yeah. when I gave someone like how, what I think they should do to get what do well on YouTube, I believed in the fact that as long as they really put their mind to it, and they were consistent, yeah. their discipline. Um, it didn't have to be, even the devil says just follow what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. But enjoy it was the yeah, main no, no, thing. That was the main thing, yeah. Just do what you enjoy doing. We all got into it because we enjoyed playing Call of Duty, spinning around in circles or doing this yeah, and that. Making montages. And then it. it turned into money. Don't get into it because you've seen JJ buy a Lamborghini. Like, because it won't work out. Because the like, audience like, didn't see that. It's like the highest job thing in schools now. Like, what do you want to be when you're older? YouTuber. Yeah. It is it's so thing. crazy. Mm. The weirdest thing. Yeah, when you're a kid, you'd never say, like, oh, what do you want to be when you're older? I want to be a TV presenter. That wouldn't be this thing that no, every kid like, says. I want to work at Argos. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to make catalogues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get to browse the catalogue. Yeah, I want to browse that shit. Jeez. That's yeah. what I was talking about earlier. 20% off. <laughs> you just reminded me. That's the way it was. Was it? When we lost it, it was, I was talking about Ryan Toys Review, and I was like, it's basically like a real life Argos catalogue, innit? That you get yes. kids consider and search it. That's yeah. what I was talking about. You did say that, by the way. Yeah, yeah you did yeah. say that. That, that yeah. was what I was covering. Yeah, that, that was it. That was what I was talking about. You, you mean it, though, so you want to say it. Again. Yeah, I mean that. <laughs> Shout out to them. Yeah. Banging videos. Um, I'll have a good toy opening. But yeah, uh, it's it's tough at the moment. It's, so, uh, okay, so then, let's go, let's go, I'm going with more personal towards you then. Are you enjoying like what you're doing now in comparison to what you're doing? So, I feel like someone like for you, actually, you don't really make videos that often? No. So now you're going to making videos very often. So is it like a lot more stressful in life? I would have made videos more often back in the day if I had the ideas. You, you know me, I only made a video if I had an idea. So yeah. if I didn't have an idea in four weeks, I wouldn't upload for four weeks. And that was my biggest downfall because I should have just had filler content that was like, okay. That wasn't like, just keep, all right, just keep I've thought of an idea where I'm going to go out and troll believers. I'm going to go to this concert and that's a video that I can only do once possibly do it again but you know in my mind video once and do it and that's done and we'll leave that and we'll move on to the next one whereas there should have been formats and stuff to keep it live so the the it wasn't that I was lazy I don't think it was it was ideas if I had like and and the thing was to upload every week but even then I didn't upload every week or twice a week if uh, right now I really enjoy working like it's the best thing I think I, I really really enjoy like being I hate waking up, but at the moment I try and wake up at you know 10, 10 30 every day, which is really good for me. Because <laughs> you know back That's what I'm on these days. Back, yeah, respect. Woo boo. Early gang. Uh, yeah, probably Wee -boo nine, ten. Yeah, <laughs> nine. Yeah, I'll try right, to show yeah. us up. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, but um, then, then but people are like, oh, lazy, lazy preacher. But when that, you go to bed, yeah. that's the thing. You said you go to bed, what, four? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I've been like, I've had three, four months now, yeah. which is mad for me. Like, yeah. I'm trying to be nocturnal since I left school. Mm. Yeah, I'd always. Oh, I'm not going to tell. Yeah. You. Anyway, Your motivation. Yeah. Um, you're getting up earlier, and so so I, 
I am enjoying it, don't get me wrong. It's hard to turn around a video in 24 hours. Every day. Like, it's 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 hard. And have a life. Of quality you as well. Either, yeah. You either don't have a life and work, or you have a life and half work. That's well, how it is. What about that entrepreneur saying of, I do things uh, 72 others hours, won't. yeah. No, I, do, I, do, I do things others won't, so in time, I can do things others can't. Oh. So if you spend Ooh. your life doing things everyone else won't do, to try and get to the top with the whole motif of when they're out when you're out at the top you're gonna do something you'll be able to do things that no one else can like say for it like you make that be financially because you've got so much money you can do you can have life. a yacht yeah or you can go places people can't go yeah because well, or just be. not have to work yeah yeah and then mm-hmm. comfortable in life not have to pay a mortgage not have to like have a time you retire like not have to have these stresses in your life yeah so that's like an entrepreneur saying that a lot of people say of like that's good i think it's a good mo- motive to follow but then it's also, yeah, and you have to think like, or oh, you could die tomorrow. No, it'll be morbid, but. And also how long can you keep that up? Because there's. Like, yeah, what's healthy. Like if you're, if you're running with that and as a YouTuber, you're working seven days a week. So you're doing things that other people wouldn't even, maybe wouldn't think about or wouldn't do. You're going to burn out. I've, I've experienced that. I was yeah. working for you, for you guys in, in the early days. I was doing seven days a week and it was just burning me up, man. Doing the same shit every you, day. You lose the space to like, especially like. Just like for think. clothing and stuff, you do space for like creativity, just mm-hmm. even to like focus on like a new idea. If you say like say like for this time you're filming this vlog for today, and you say 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 today you've had you filmed a vlog today, and you come to do this podcast, you're gonna get home and you're gonna edit it. Mm. What's the point with you? Yeah, because you you haven't thought about that yet. Yeah, this is the problem. So and and I I didn't want to sit in that area where I just vlog my life. I wanted to do that. I wanted to like up the level. Had the snippets and, and that's where you're putting your twist. On yeah. current vlogs, yeah, your vlogs are, are that your but people vlogs are, are different. Like Logan, yeah. Logan and Jake have a point to every single thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. vlogs have evolved in general. And yeah, and David and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not, I'm not. It's not revolutionary on my part. No. I, can't, I can't take credit for that. But it's just that's that's the area where I want to sit in. So it's hard, um, but I'm not going to stop. I might not upload every day. Like if I literally don't have an idea, he says sitting on a shared document with all of the people I work with with over 300 ideas in the, in the um <laughs> but then no, no joke, joke. Not those ideas no joke. it's not good enough not good enough not good enough yeah mm, not today but that that's actually revised as the well sad- we, we go in over time and take ideas out that we're never going to do that we thought oh yeah we're going to do it the sad reality is I think and this is kind of bad to say realistically but if you did what you did now two years ago it probably been a lot more fruitful for you yeah but would you have had the mindset to do that and would you have the style been the same? I don't know, but it, the current state of YouTube is so much different to what it was back then. Yeah. And I think what you're doing currently would have been so fruitful back then, especially in our era of like our whole group doing very well and growing and building an audience that helped, that would help not only develop your like audience and your following, but all of us, because even just that's an inner, it's an insight into everything. Well, look at David Dobrik's vlogs. Like, er, like I'm not just saying that all of the people in those vlogs are famous now because of him. Even though but it, it certainly might helps. be, but I know every single one of them, and I know all of their names, and they weren't YouTubers and, that and, I knew and of. And their personalities, you know, and I know like, their personalities. Yeah. yeah. So, it, it makes me think that there is space for new people to come up, but good luck. Like, it's hard. But there is, in my opinion, the space for like a whole younger crew to come through. So I, I, think, do it. I think there's a huge hole in the UK right now. Massive. And that's why I, that's why I started Dalian as well, because I was like, there's a hole. There's no one doing this. Alfie, Syndicate. Who else that he vlogs in the UK? Dave Vloggers UK. I feel like, I mean, if you miss someone out, Mars Bar. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, that, I don't He's more stylistic, cinematic, videos, though. He's yeah. not like in that same style. Unfortunately. I, I do like his videos though. I hear they're very yeah. good. Um, but yeah, there was not many people doing that and there's no one, like Alf, Syndicate is his day, Alfie sometimes has a point, but most of the time it's his day. There's no one like Logan in the UK. So I was like, let me give it a go. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. I'm two weeks in, I, I am my own massive critic. Like, hey. Yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's I'm like, I'm like, thing. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's bad. But I'm, I'm trying to break out of it now. So but we, we like that with like even like our clothing that we do. Like we just bat around ideas and then go, yeah, no, not good enough. Yeah. 
and it's like oh, fine tuning everything all the time. It's always has been the way of everything we've ever done. It's like fine tune this, fine tune that, fine tune this. And we want it to be in line with what we've previously done. Oh, this doesn't and fit. Like this doesn't fit. The, the, doing, yeah. the like vision of what we're trying to get out there. Like it's like oh no, uh, it's a bit. I don't know. It's just it doesn't really fit what we're trying to do or whatever, and put it on a back burner or whatever. But we've got a shit ton of ideas. Then you'd be pouting. But, um, but then if you leave them too long, they go stale. Yeah, which and happens other, loads. other people do them. How many times has it been that? Like I've had a few ideas. I'm like, we should do this, and we're not forward think. We're not. We're not. Same we're not here. progressive enough with it. Well, we haven't progressed enough with it. Maybe because we're too organic in that we haven't got people work. You guys haven't got people working for you, yeah. so you're too busy. I'm doing side men here, like pretty much all- every day. Pick I'm, belly. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> That's his belly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just <shot> himself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> what was he saying? What was he saying? <laughs> Come on, anchor boy, it's your job. We were saying, um, oh, what is it? Is it okay? And be yeah, not getting, yeah. yeah, so too busy. You're just doing Basically, if, and if, if we were more on top of things, like, I feel like we would have got to those ideas, ideas first. Whereas if we do them after that, well, we can't use that idea now because it just looks like we're copying yeah. other people. Yeah, we probably could have started our whole ZLK thing like a year and a half ago. Like, there's fully, was you ready. You were supposed to start about the time that I started. Uh, yeah, like we we delayed it so long. I don't even know. Like it was like oh yeah, six we, months we, probably. Uh, no, it's longer than that. I think like I think we was gonna launch in like six months after we was we was gonna launch. Yeah, yeah. At my birthday. Before, last year, yeah. We was gonna say summer last year. Then it was my birthday. Then it was October. But then, then it was November. And we was like, oh, not sure. There's an upload to do with as well. Yeah. Then it was like, oh, Christmas would be great. Get Christmas because it's Q4 is always the best. But anyway, just for sales, purely on business terms, mm. Q4 is the best. Um, it was like, ah, oh, January then, January be fine. And it was February, March. And it was, then it was like, you know what? I remember saying, I remember asking for a conversation for like three hours and I said, like, fuck this, we're doing it, regardless. Yeah, and we're not ready. Oh, let's just fucking do it. We just passed it down. And you banged it. Coming from someone on the outside, it's it's done really well in my opinion. Yeah, it, there's a lot more to do, my bro. That's yeah. the thing, yeah. yeah it doesn't thanks, matter. No, thanks, it doesn't yeah. Matter. yeah. It's just like, they smashed it. You, with, sit, you sit in an area where I think a lot of people who've released Cloven UK or other in our, in our friend group. I'm not speaking for them. I don't know. Potentially sit there and go, oh, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that looks pretty good. He's gone down the right road. Like, It's hard and it's hard. That's coming now, for now, me now, as well. Now it's, but now it's like, from the first one, there's pressure for the next one. Because you, you know when you have like no expectations, it's like who oh, drops something, people get to judge it there and then. Now it's like, oh, you've built up this standard. Here again, but otherwise you fucked it. I also think that like, you can go where you want sometimes. Like you're not you're not supreme, right? Yeah. At the yeah. at the moment. You in my opinion, you, you see a supreme drop and you're like, oh geez, like oh there's flowers and stuff, like, oh I don't really wear any of this, but I guess that one that one looks the coolest. I'll go for that one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're all so out there. Mm-hmm. And that's what fashion is at the moment. But I guess when you're in when you're in it and you're siloed and you you have certain things that you want to put into the clothing, you're not just going to go completely random. But yeah, I mean, like we have like a rough vision of where we where we want to sit. But like, the, the, yeah, those companies do what the fuck they want to do, and that's what we want to do. Realistically, yeah. it's just like try to find that balance. And I guess that's and you can bring it back to YouTube, same thing again. Like you've, uh, I think, I think we have to summarize something today. We have to come. Yeah. We have, the leaving we have to point, make a decision. The leaving. Okay, so the, 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 with YouTube, there is no real no, thing there isn't, actually. <laughs> there isn't a real because the, 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 no one knows it's an ever-changing thing by the time this podcast goes out the whole algorithm could have changed whole new trend could have come out by the time it's being edited yeah that's very true actually hopefully it favours me a little bit more and it could be like you know what vlogging, <laughs> vlogging is now dead <laughs> vlogging is now dead it's now basketball challenges <laughs> it's now being a florist and you have to cut plants yeah I'm going to start a whole new Dr Pepper drinking challenge oh, please yeah please do I could get involved in that that's original Fuck it. Yeah. Maybe some of the stupidest ideas. Yeah, and okay, so how, okay, how many times, maybe not for you, but how many times you put out videos where you thought, this one will bang? <laughs> Hasn't. Some video you was like, ah, oh, put it out, but it's decent. And that one banged. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Like, so, so something that's not these last out. two weeks, like, I spent all day building a Lego house for Herb. <laughs> Hashtag Herb. Herb is his dog, just anyone who doesn't know. Herb's the dog. Uh, the, me, Harry, and Cal. Cal yeah. Herb Life, Herb of yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to call him Herbalife. I know you like Herbivore, Herbalife. but... Follow my Insta. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, I, I spent a whole day doing that. Thousands of Lego pieces took... Uh, I didn't edit that one, actually. Ed is edited that one. 
Um, the guy, the guy that works for me. Edit. Um, mm. Yeah, he hates it when you say when you say that. Can't Sorry. can't have can't can't put can't fucking what is it? Can't have Ed edit without Ed. Can't have Ed without Ed. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he spent that, yeah, all day on that video. Really hard video to edit because we had so much footage, and it didn't do that well. Whereas then I just reacted to one of the uh, mine and Sarah's first video mm. that we Saw first that, ever yeah. did that we first ever recorded before we were dating 2013 or something 15 13 and it and it almost you know half more views like 600k compared to 400k because mm. that isn't that isn't how it works like then we've got to think that's that's why that's why we think too much yeah and i think, as, I think anyone, anyone who's tried to youtube uh, maybe the best advice is to try not to think too much actually just do it like anything you think of just do it and that's, that's why I think that by, by you doing daily vlogs, I think that's the best challenge you'll ever set yourself, especially for you, mm. is that you have to do it. Like, it, that's, why, that's why if you stick to being daily, though. Yeah. Because as soon as you start breaking the mould, it's very easy to break the mould and just stop doing daily. And, th and this, this is, is, is going to be a, fr a free day break now. Yeah. But, you know. You have some breaks, though. Yeah. Breaks are fine, though. As long as you go back, okay, now I'm back. You're yeah. announcing, I'm, okay, I'm back, cool. But that daily, that daily challenge is you've got your video out. So if you think of an idea, you're going to do it. Yeah. And then sometimes those, those, that's what's going to bang because it'd be a random idea out of nowhere that will start a trend or will just bang for you. Yeah. Like me and Vic and Simon played Jenga in our kitchen. So it was my, it was, that was my most viewed video for about two years. How many views? So like six mil or five point seven. Just for playing, was it the big old Jenga? The giant Jenga, Jenga yeah, yeah. I remember it, yeah. But like conceptually think about it, like I've gone, all right guys, Simon, Vic, my video tonight, just so you know, play some Jenga. And they're like, You're right, yeah? Yeah, fully. That they forfeit. Nah, it's to play Jenga. And they're like, what the fuck? Six million views yeah. later. You're like, all right, cool. I'm so sorry, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of the things. Like, <laughs> if I no, normally you'd go on other, like, that's not, it's not a video. Even now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that video. Yeah, realistically, the more you think about, it, I'm like, oh. no offense, I would never have done that video. Exactly. But no offense taken, because yeah. I agree. But that's, that's how YouTube is, right? But yeah, my, my most viewed video is me and Harry waxing each other. 12 minute video. Just uh, that's the forfeits, the waxing each other. And we did Beyblades in there. It's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but it's not it's not that revolutionary, is it? I thought of I thought of a couple of challenges and then waxing was the forfeit. And that was it. And it's done 13 million views. You might think of like, yeah, like the most. And yeah, sometimes you might have a dead idea and the thumbnail and title is good. So... It just worked. Yeah. And the watch time. Maybe, you know, how you've edited it. Yeah. Like, there's so many, like, variables to YouTube that it isn't just about an idea. It's not just about, okay, this is what you should do. So that's, I think, I think the, the, sum, the summarizing point that you should, we should leave it to when we do leave it is that, yeah, just do what the fuck you want to do and don't think about it too much. Yeah. But make sure that you're clever. No. About... No, you're thinking too much already. <sighs> Break the mold. What more about, more about <laughs> the trends? Uh, all right, go on. I'll take that. Yeah, okay. But, that, okay. Yeah. I'll add, in, I'll add in that point, all right? Yeah. Do the fuck you want to do, jump on trends, have fun with it. Yeah. Bang. We've gone around in circles enough with this. Yeah. So YouTube, that's the way it is. Right? I, hope, I hope it's useful like, for people to hear this. Like, no, no, but yeah, so I think, yeah. I think, I think yeah. a lot of people sit out there doing like schedules and trying to make sure they stay consistent. And I don't know, it's, it's hard. It's, it doesn't mean the, hard, the hardest thing is you can't say something won't work until it, like, because it, it might work eventually. That's the whole grand point. Hmm. Like, you could be sitting there doing, like Freezy popped off a career mode on FIFA. Do I think someone pop off a career mode on FIFA right now? Probably not. But in five years' time, it might happen again. Yeah. Because trends come and go, things and everything's like everything always recycles itself, isn't it? Eventually. So there's probably going to be a time when yeah, maybe spin, next, spin on COD might come back at some if, point. Yeah. If the next Call of Duty is good, you could see. So or I if they I come think. up with a new, someone innovative. Yeah. Um, game mode. You literally, and it, it always can change. But then I guess. But one thing you, you do want to touch on as well, you said about you was hit hard by the uh, the apocalypse. Oh yeah, yeah, like ridiculously hard. Well, recently, recently what when? So, so like in was it like February? It was like a March. It's like a protest um, thing by no, it was April the twenty seventh. Yeah, it was that. Yeah, so that's a that's a whole new issue for YouTube in general now as well. Is because back in the day, a lot of smaller YouTubers could survive and it was sustainable and it was you was able to sit there and experiment and try, try and like do this full time it was it was a viable option to be doing a full-time job anyway and go this is kind of working for me like i'm getting some views if i take my if I, if I quit my job and put more time into this it's a viable 
like the potential there that I could make this my full time job. Mm. But now that is even a whole, that's a whole new kettle of fish. I'll talk about it. You want to talk about it? Yourself? I'll talk about it. So I'm at, uh, savage mode incoming. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> so on average, on average, an average YouTuber potentially now these days it totally depends on on what content you make. But average, probably what I saw, thousand dollars per per million views. Probably That's what you'd see. Rough it's, yeah. it's okay. It's yeah. Some through. people will see three dollars or three thousand dollars for a million views. If you're very lucky, you might see five thousand dollars, or you might see five hundred dollars per million views. It's probably around the area where I sat in. Anyway, say for example, back in the day, potentially um, would get six million views a month, and probably be about four thousand pounds, five thousand pounds, and that's cool. I look after my mum, uh, cover everything uh, to do with her. Um, I looked after myself, put some money to the side, blah, blah, blah. Uh, also worked for a YouTube network, which we haven't got into, but that's all yeah. good for three and a half years. So that was another source of income. So for example, say I didn't really get 10 million views, but say you get 10 million views, you probably see about 10,000 pounds or $10,000. Um, this month I'm on 15 million views and my AdSense was a, for, for about that it was about $3,800 so we're talking in a difference between $15,000 and $3,800 I hire two people uh, I still look after my mum I do get the odd branded deal here and there which is keeping me alive which is meaning that I'm not sitting at home crying and, and about how you know or having to let Ben or Ed go um, <clears throat> but it's it's a lot harder now to 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 make a living from views yeah it's hard to pinpoint it um, but the, the one good thing I think that has come from it is that it's changed the audience's perspective on branded content so to give it like a whole narrative and a story to it so when money first came into YouTube, remember the times when you posted too many videos, <laughs> fly, uh, you posted too many videos, you were considered a money whore. Remember the time yeah. uh, Syndicate, Syndicate posted 17 videos in one day about uh, Cool Dead Zombies. Didn't he, up didn't he upload more videos than there were hours in the day? No, he was, I think it was 17, 17 in one oh, day. I mean, it could be wrong. Well, but, awake hours in the day. <laughs> yeah, awake yeah. hours. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, 16, 16, 16, 16 is awake. Yeah. Eight hours sleep. Yeah. yeah. So he was 70 videos in one day about Cool Dead Zombies. So that would be down from like how does internet do that? Sorry, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy. <laughs> the, 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 videos, the videos themselves weren't long. Some of them were like two minutes yeah, long. Like how, actually, to, yeah. how to get juggernaut, yeah. how to pack a punch. Very, yeah. like, very simple videos, very searchable videos. And he got so much hate. He, he literally the whole like a lot of the community turned on him. Obviously, me and Cal were very good friends with him back then as well, yeah. and still are. Like, but he got so much like just slaughtered by so many people, whether that be fans or other influencers, people on the basis of like. That's a money whore movement right there. Like that was that. That was that was the tur that was this fly is gonna. I'm not gonna kill it on live on screen. You know the, the, the Obama thing. Just, oh, it, yeah. just, just smacks the fly out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like so that was a tur that was a term that was like just thrown about so often back then. It was like, oh, money whore. Like how dare you try and make videos for money? And then suddenly like everyone had money on YouTube and it was like, all right, this is normal now. And then it's obviously now it's then it became very normal to earn money on YouTube and fine. And then we got to now where this whole ad pockets come, thing came in. And now the audience used to, a lot of the audience would be like, oh, sell out if you did a branded deal. Where now I've seen a lot of comments on people's branded content and says like, yeah, you go so-and-so, get that branded money. Yeah, yeah. And they respect it and appreciate it. And a lot of like- People have tweeted me saying, um, I, I uh, got an advert over your content today. And it's a true view advert, so you can skip it over f after five seconds, but they're on it for three minutes. And they take a picture of it and send it to me, and it's like, I want to support you. I've stayed on this advert for three minutes. I have no idea whether that earns me more money or not. You don't have to do that, guys, like to but any of us. But, but it's, but it's know, something, yeah. But, it, but yeah. We, we see the respect from you guys, and I think... Oh, yeah, know, and I think that's a changed... This whole, fully changed. This whole, this whole it thing occurring has changed that whole motive. And people are doing, okay, this video is sponsored by so-and-so. Mm. They're fully for it. They're like, yeah, yeah, he, like, he, for sure. Because like, it funds the content that they want to watch. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, like, all of the, like, because then it's like, yes. Yeah, if YouTube aren't paying it, someone's like, got to pay for you to earning, live. You're earning money do from, those videos. from YouTube. Like, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, how are you? Do- my, my dad's a doctor and he earns 85 grand a year. And it's like, he works six days a week, 14 hours a day. And you sit there making one video and you're earning double him. It's like, fuck you. And now I think, you know, and essentially and it- we've been entertaining these people for three or four years. And they they finally come to respect the fact that I think a lot of, a lot of the audience have grown up on YouTube now though, because that, that's a whole new generation now of yeah. like their whole school from year seven to leaving YouTube was about yeah so from year like year seven was that literally so yes yeah, from year seven to year twelve was that what was that eleven to eight, seven eight seven eight, seven, eight, seven, eight nine seven, ten eleven twelve to thirteen it's, it's thirteen it's seven, like seven years seven years yeah so seven years ago was two thousand two thousand ten year is yeah so I would have been doing YouTube the whole time someone had started school and ended sit form yeah so they've they watched someone like that in year seven that whole time they've aspired, they've aspired to be YouTube was a thing being a jo- YouTuber as a job was a thing that whole time so they're so much more open to it where like I mean, our generation isn't as open to it because like well the fuck <laughs> like this has some whole new thing that's blowing up yeah. but now it's, 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 in, it's ingrained in society so much more now so I think that's another thing there's another factor to it but obviously as I said this whole Ad pockets thing has helped that because mm. changed the, the most a lot of people and the, the, the attitudes. I mean, like I guess for Philly D did the Patreon thing. Yeah, did that get a lot of backlash at it though? Yeah, he got because uh, he hid the numbers. Is that why he got the backlash, or was it just because he was doing it in general? I think it's because he he's like he he was bought by somebody, wasn't he? He was Discovery, I think. He was bought by Discovery, so that's obviously a multi-million pound deal. And then now he's going to Patreon to keep the channel alive. And uh, I think I think I think and start a new network or something like that. Or, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he's like, doing that. He's got a lose, I think lose thing, yeah. Yeah, but then that's that, that's a YouTuber who um, hires a lot of people and has yeah. teams, um, like whether it be for research teams or editors or film people, anyone. That's where it's harder. So let's say for you, right? So you've got two people that you're paying, mm-hmm. and you're putting into your mum. I don't have those. I don't, don't have anyone. Hands. Yeah, I don't really have anyone that I actually fully full time hire. So I have no outgoings at all, like on that sense, like yeah. no, no. So if if YouTube, it's looking like, and and just to give someone else out there, it's you know, it's looking like, well, it, that costs me around uh, a couple of other things. Got an office, outgoings. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Did the yeah. Maths, won't say everything, but like, it's it's an in excess of eighty to ninety thousand pounds a year as well. So I'm paying out how many average UK salaries? Um, yeah, and, and, London, that's, and that's not me like purely saying like this is this is Ben and Ed's wage this is what they're on it's like we've got numerous other outgoings as well it's actually probably more than that yeah but it's just like my point was more that that, that puts more pressure on you yeah. and that makes it even more even less sustainable just purely on the basis of like say like say if I was to go out and outreach and go okay I'm going to get this team of 10 people to work for me to help build my channel but upon building my channel, my CPMs or everything just drops to nothing. So I'm no longer earning what I was earning. I can no longer pay these people. I may have grown, but I can't yeah. pay these people anymore. Because there's no like... It's exactly what's happening. Yeah, and, that, and, that's the, and that's the scary thing that I guess what I'm hitting is like, of what do I do here? Do I, do I flex out and hire people to push? You're taking a gamble. You've got, you're, you're, you're taking, taking a gamble, gamble but it's a gamble. Saying, you yeah. can't even... And that's, that's why I got after party as well yeah. yeah so I was going to lead on to that actually that's one thing I think we should definitely talk about because that's a big thing that you're obviously putting a lot of time to at the moment yeah is after party yeah huge you've got you, as you said you, you've got yourself an office yeah. for that yeah. which you've now kitted out with all the balls with the and grass. that yeah and the, yeah, and yeah. the grass looking still, sick. still got the lines in the grass pissing me off <laughs> you need to cut like you a hole in that shit for your head to like, stand yeah, up yeah pissing me off yeah, I think can, me, can, I think can you cut holes in the ceiling so you can stand up yeah no no that's like pure concrete <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe not but it, it's, it's quite a cool story though <laughs> it's like well if I ever do make it like I've already made it within the YouTube world you could say so yeah. you know, subscribers incredible achievement but like if you ever see me sitting on that yacht we talked about earlier actually I don't <clears throat> I don't like yachts in like a nice house rubber dinghy yeah or rubber dinghy yeah <clears throat> voice is going no it's not Come back to me, voice. Expensive um, ass rubber dinghy with diamonds on his shit. Then, I, then you know, in my autobiography or in my just the story that I told, it's like, well, yeah, I was in the, I was in an office. That Humble I beginnings, almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and I and I did come from nothing. My parents didn't have anything. I was in East London. Your boy was 
mad ill when he was five for two years um, mm. with leukemia. Like, don't don't come don't don't be thinking that like I've had this. I want these stories. I want to keep them. Anyway, uh, what were we saying? After party. After party. Got the office. Yeah. Got Ben and Ed. Bed. Bed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. In bed now. <laughs> ben and Ed are in bed. Bed. <laughs> you got bed. I don't um, like that. Uh, yeah. Richard as well. Yeah, Richard is he's your manager. Manager. Um, the the YouTube network that I worked for, they were called Base Seventy Nine. They were bought by um, what were they called before? Brave Bison now, but they're called Rightster. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. I was, I was trying to think who it was. I was yeah. like, Jeezy's. Did you say? No, Jesus. No, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I was like, almost he's forgot. involved with what? Yeah, no, no, no. It's not, it's not, no. <laughs> Jesus is not sitting there like YouTube network. They might, have network. Network. <laughs> they might have it. They might have it. His channel, sorry. Um, uh, so three and a half years I worked, worked with, with Base 79. Uh, they there scouted me out of uni, uh, left uni. I used to go meet you in the office after that. So we got in London. Yeah, and we filmed Animal Impressions, <laughs> one of my first public video ever. You and Tony. Yeah. Like, no tangents, no tangents. Um, you wanted a tangent there, didn't you? No, no, what, <laughs> that's good. Go on, what was the little thing? What, what? No, no, I was just... Yeah, that, I that, 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 that video was so good. Yeah. Like, anyway, yeah. I like it once. Yeah, it's done. Uh, <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> Um, Lost your story. So, yeah, Richard co-founded that company with someone called Ashley. So um, uh, those guys started that company together. They then sold that company to Wrightster for, I think it was £50 million. Pounds. Incredible. Um, uh, Richard then left to look after his family uh, and, and then offered to manage me. And I was just like, oh, my God, like, really? You want to you wanna manage me? And I was mm. like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Because I was so against it before. I was like, I worked at this company for three and a half years. Um, I, I I know how to reply to emails and I'm going to do this on my own. And then he started managing me. And then we were like, let's do something bigger. So we started after the party. And uh, we do have time, right? Yeah, yeah keep going. It's fine. All right, cool. The, the cameras aren't going to run out. No, I'm really conscious. We've got forever. All right, cool. <clears throat> um, so basically, to sum it up without giving too much away, because I, I actually can't talk about it that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like... The, the website exists. Um, ben did a great job on that. I think it looks great. Yeah, um, the website is sick, actually. Yeah. Um, basically, we want to create... I, I have so many ideas for stuff that would sit on YouTube that I need help with, basically. Whether it's like formats like this, you call this a format. Yeah. Um, or it's working with brands to create content, um, not just like one video on my channel. I mean like, let's start a new channel and let's grow it to a million subscribers. That's the kind of shit that I want to move into. Yeah. As well as like supporting me. So I, I really wanted to change, like before this adpocalypse, I really wanted to upload more videos and and have better ideas and do better videos. And now I've got like a small team around me that can help me do that. So number one, I think is support me and you know, on this daily vlog, those guys are, are working very hard, very, very hard. And I'm talking long hours as well. I'll meet up with Ben at like 12 o'clock and he'll go home at, at 2 a.m. some days. And and I, I don't want to do that, but like some videos, that's what it takes. Yeezy video, he went home. At the end of that Yeezy video, I'm out on Toby's balcony at 3.30 a.m. hair drying Yeezys when he comes back on my ones. Mm. Um, so yeah, after party's there to kind of create formats, create content to that 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 I can't do on my own and to kind of not say like, fuck you to TV, but like kind of... That, that, is, that is kind of the, a, a motive that a lot of us run with. Not necessarily fuck you, but just we can... It's, it's the whole motive I would say is we can do things without people. Yeah. And we like to try and do things without like big corporations or anything coming in too much. Like old school corporations, this is a lot of people who are new forward thinking companies. There's a lot of those now where like companies who fully get this whole digital era and are fully on board of it and don't even go near the old school era anymore. That is the old media now, though, in it. That is yeah. the old media. This is new media now. But I, don't get me wrong, like, I would love to work with um, TV networks to create something because I, there's no way I'm going to be able to create like a. Um, but I have an idea for like a, a skins esque. Don't to go too far into thing. it. I won't, I won't say it. The skins esque episode, uh, sorry series. Um, there's no way that I'm going to be able to create that on my own. Really. Yeah. Like to the extent of skins, like that bang. But I want to create something like that, um, and hopefully. This is what like that's. I guess it's like investors come in because like Team Ten 
that have investors. True. So we sp- and I mean, Logan referenced it. So I feel like I feel safe to reference it. No, it's articles. Cause, I mean, cause just because Logan straight up said like, do, do your investors know Team Ten ain't making any money? Oh boy. Like in a diss track. So like, I can reference it. But like, okay, it's cool. But then yeah. So then they obviously have investors. None of us do. But that, that's something that. Sometimes I could cry if investors come out like, yo, investor, like, come into us. I've thought about it. Well, no, hey, it's, it was, sorry. It, <laughs> it, was, it was one of the routes that potentially it's, it's, we yeah, go down, it's, 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 it's route. I'm just stubborn as well. Like, I feel like I can do it without them. Yeah, and it, with investors, it doesn't, it's not just like, okay, here's this much money. And what are you going to do? How quick are you going to turn yeah. it into from one and million to owed, yeah, 10 million? It, it, it ruins the process because in some cases, some, invest, calls investors, some, investors, laughing. some investors be really good. They might go, okay, here's the money. We believe in you. Do it. But some investors may come in and go, right, well, here's the money, but if in order to earn this money, you need to do this, 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 this. And then they're like, okay, it's like a record label. I'm not happy yeah. with that. Go back. Yeah. So that's the risk you run with that. So you get, as you get an investor, you have to make sure that it was an investor that was fully on board with you and believed in you. I think they're out there. I Definitely, mean, yeah. D- isn't Casey Neistat's whole thing anyway like that? With CNN, they, yeah, did you roughly. watch his latest video? Yeah, yeah. But like, that's like he's allowed to experiment, and they believe in him and, yeah, and what his ideas are. Political news channel, it's yeah. Whatever I'm for, yeah, yeah. So it's like that's, I guess, something like that. But I mean, ultimately, what you're doing is still smart. It's a, it's a separate revenue stream. It's something that essentially, once you gets going, it's going to earn money because it allows you to sustain anything else as well. You're there's, doing. There's some like. There's some stuff that's like already confirmed that I can't half confirm that I can't talk about yeah. that like. You'll see, you'll see me creating in the vlogs, hopefully, and and it's something that I could never do, but it, it hopefully it's going to be really good, and and it's always going to sit on the YouTube, like I, I hope that if any of my stuff ever got on TV one day, or you know E4 or something like that, you know the maybe not real, oh shit, is it real TV? I don't know. Anyway, you know like the not your one to four though, you yeah, know, yeah, BBC yeah, Three or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. It's not just yeah. like a mainstream. It's going to be. Like, it's it's going to be YouTube. Like. It, It'll be in a way that fits for TV. It'll be in the format, like ad breaks and so on. But I want it to be shot in a in a YouTube way and edited yeah, sure. in a YouTube way. That, 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 so yeah. for people listening, like it's not gonna, it's not like I'm leaving yeah, YouTube to go leaving, TV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. What you're doing is is like I said, it's, it's you're doing something that's innovative, entrepreneurial. You're like, okay, I've got this whole YouTube thing, but every, that's what I say to everyone, is just put eggs everywhere. Like you've mm. got to be a bit like with the platform you've got and anyone any YouTuber out there who has got stuff, you should be looking to. Whether it be a lot of people you should jump, jump, jump into merch now, yeah. which is a great, you should be like because your audience wants to support you anyway. And as long as you're making good products, please don't just do merch, just like so half assed. Yeah. Do it properly if you can do it because there are a lot of people who don't, but yeah, do, do it do properly. It. Pop up shop, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, but like do it, do it properly. <laughs> I've rated that highly. Thank you. I'm, I'm kind of pissed we didn't do that first. <laughs> <laughs> still. Don't worry, you can do it better. Yeah, well, we'll see. We was always we'll see. we was always scared of a certain risk of the, the sheer numbers that go there that it just causes. Well, at well, the time, was, yeah. I wasn't that relevant. You could say at the time, and Saturday was like mental. Yeah, and, 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 and I was being, six after hours. Being, after being I know that it's like yeah, it could, yeah. could cause some disruptions. And in London, that's quite I'm a sure scary the police thing. wouldn't like that, yeah, especially around that main yeah, road. Around yeah, that, yeah, around it's, it's a scary thing to be causing that much disruption in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the, what's the point? Yes, yeah, like so, you should you put eggs in different baskets, and. In turn, it makes you feel more comfortable about your whole YouTube channel then as well. Because if you're like, so a lot of YouTubers who do merch, that merch money they're getting, may be paying for them to make these crazy new videos and new ideas, or maybe paying for the equipment to allow them to improve their production. Yeah. So as a fan base, a lot of fan base, it's all it's like get, a wrecker, isn't it? Yeah, I, I just they, can't go they, into they too much. They put a lot of money that they get into their video. They, all they care about is how good their yeah, videos are. Don't care. Yeah. So they they, 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 they so care so about good. their own. Yeah. So good. They care about their own income and just go. Yeah, just pay it into the. They just want to make a sick video about Dragon Ball Z. And it's fucking. I love it. It's yeah, fucking sick, it man. Sick, yeah. I love those guys for that. So, so yeah, so it was asked by for Nessan Kels. It's a whole new, separate yeah. entity. It's like we've, we've done that. I guess we've done. I've done loads of that. To be honest, got Simon Clothing, got our thing. We had the upload event. Which even is, even doing this matches, now is a variation. Charity, like it's still something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the match is like we could have done that for a company. We could have yeah, gone you to. Could have banged, like, I mean, we've got. How much like, is your race for charity in the end? This one was like two fifteen k. Two fifteen k. But that's off our own backs. I think if you've got companies involved, we could have done more. What like sponsors and stuff? Or yeah, I, I think. I mean, it's I mean, still two hundred fifteen k. Like, but that's off our own backs. So that's what makes me feel more proud of it. I yeah. mean, but. I mean, probably got a big companies come in and say they take over it and they'll get in biggest they might get celebrities in opposed to like YouTubers. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so there's obviously, there's obviously formatting. On TV. Yeah, and you get yeah. the text code and stuff like stuff like that. Stuff that helps raise much more money for charity, which is something maybe we could look into. Just so that's the whole the whole goal is. That. I'm saying if that was for you. Yeah, that. Like, yeah. I'm not saying obviously you should do that, but not at all. But like, if if that's for you and you're earning 215k off one thing, that's a crazy egg in another basket. But yeah. there's there's a lot of work prior to that that goes into it a lot. I've seen the back yeah. the back like those, those matches are work that goes into stress. It. Yeah. Beyond belief. Same same with the upload thing we did. Like well, Stuart does so, so much. So you getting stuff. are you getting two hundred fifteen k of man hour out of people potentially like 10, more, twenty people more so really I think I think I think the, the right. cost to put one of those together together another cost, egg. <laughs> yeah I think the cost to actually put one of those properly together it it just it would require people to be believing that actual thing they're doing if you paid normal people who didn't care about it it could cost you more I got you because you know, normal people normal person might need like, like the company their work their hours they're set like you basically you you put in a shitload of hours into that and didn't get paid because yeah. it's for charity it's it's something that you want to put on you want to play you want to make amazing for the fans but, yeah, but if you had to pay someone to do that job then you would have lost money yeah if for all of those people yeah yeah, yeah sure yeah yeah and it's, it's just like i guess an upload event's the same like it's just sometimes, sometimes we do too much because <laughs> then uh, maybe about all that time not doing charity match and we, we didn't spend this time doing like working on these other projects but all that time ever was also spent on my youtube channel would I be in a better place right now? Yeah. On YouTube? Probably. That's what I thought when I worked at, you know, it's one of the reasons why I quit that three and a half year job at Base 39, BB, whatever you want to call them, is because it was uh, 10 to f- 5 or 6 every day, uh, yeah. five, five, 5 days a week, so four, 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 four or 5 days a week. So it's like, bro, where would I be now? I'm on 2.2 now. You not started, wasting it, it, yeah. three and a half years. I learned Cause, cause so like, much. It made me so much more like entrepreneurial and, and thinking forward and stuff like that. That's what I was going to say. So obviously, obviously like, because you were nocturnal back then as well. So you'd be like with yeah. us. And sometimes you'd leave like a Skype course. He had to go to bed so he could get, f- get three get, or four get, hours. Three, yeah. But we'd like carry on and do more stuff. Yeah. So he was maybe missing out on there. Yeah. But I was going to say then, in turn, could it have made you a better person anyway? Because you've learned so much. You've learned about the back end. A lot of, uh, there's oh. a lot of you. I surprise me sometimes when I meet YouTubers and they talk about YouTube and I'm like, Wow, like you don't know anything. Yeah, and you're still banging. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're a YouTuber who is that's that's almost, that's almost organic to me though. Someone who doesn't know anything about the doing, but it's working, and that's like the best thing that you could yeah. find. Like it's probably not the best thing because you should know about the back end. Well, but you stress, you should stress. Like if they didn't know everything else, would they bang bang? Would they yeah. double bang? Double bang. Triple yeah. bang. Because <laughs> I think mean, like, I'm <laughs> You want to bang? Gang bang. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> anyway, sorry. You're saying because like, we've been around, so, we around so long. <laughs> Fuck. Because we've been around so long, I feel like we look at the back end so much as to how things are working. Yeah. When it isn't always the case. Analytics, sitting in your analytics. But yeah. But yeah. So, summarize. Uh, it's It's been a quite a. Not, not like depressive. It, 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 it does my sound negative. Like, I, I'm, yeah. actually, I'm actually. It's good to. <laughs> Go on. I oh, hung my stomach's going nuts. <laughs> so, I'm so hungry. I would, I mean, if it's so. I'll jump in. Like, sorry, sorry. A fan reached out to me recently um, who's in my like private Discord server that I have for people who like, they're like my Twitch subscribers mm-hmm. or YouTube sponsors Mods. from live streaming. Yeah. All right. Um, and if you like. That, that. So I've been live on YouTube a lot recently and you can get sponsors, they can pay, and they get to come on my Discord server and I have like little categories and stuff. I want to reach out to me and said, like, almost in like a worried way. It's a very poor message, like like worried about how we are, because like a lot of us have spoke about being irrelevant. I spoke about like being like seem seem like we're down about YouTube, and she was like like don't worry, like well, I think what you do is great, and like you've always done great, like and I'm sure you guys are good enough and talented enough to make it back. Yeah, and I said like don't get it twisted, like I'm actually in a very happy place right now because realizing where we are and how things are going on YouTube. Like if I put it out there on the table, I'd say the way things are on YouTube, Cyber and our whole friend group stagnant as hell. Mm. And we'll become those washed up celebrities who don't aren't in films anymore. They're just there. You're just, just some I'm just some person who was a YouTube once. Oh, that's that guy. Yeah. That's that guy who did YouTube once. And that'd be all of us who just be trotting along. And some but, might have their, you know, businesses on the side or they'll be on TV or they'll do this or they'll do that. They'll make movies, but like for some people, it might it might get to the stage where it's like, oh, you used to do YouTube, like, and what that's do you it. Do now, yeah. yeah, I'm working normal again, yeah. But that, that I think where we're, where I'm at that realization now, 
and being able to accept and know that I, I, I like the challenge I like the fact that ahead there's a challenge again yeah because that's the best thing that drives you forward because you've got over a challenge like two or three times now. yeah that's always anything I, I, that's, that's, I think that's my as a person my best motivator is a challenge like I love the projects like every project we always do I always get so involved in them because I love the project I love the whole learning process so like for Simon clothing, we was like, okay, we need to, we should do some clothing because obviously this whole, this whole thing's working for us. I think it'd be a good move for us. And we wanted to sell some at Insomnia. Um, so we had that literally Even like- Even scratch something up quick, innit? We, we had like two, three weeks to do this. So yeah. it was like, okay, right. Who do I like, who do I know to get contact in that? Um, we shout out to, to Jamie. Jamie gave me a contact in clothing because mm. he'd done the Boy Better No Tees back in the day. So he like, he's like the kingpin. He's a starter of everything really without him. I might have taken longer to do it. I might have not found it. Um, and I learned that whole process about how to order the t-shirts, how to get it working, how to do it properly. And I was so like vigorously involved as were a lot of us in the house. Um, like, even the designs at the start and like, even like me, Simon and Vic uh, packed loads of orders at the start. Like, that, it was just straight us. But I just liked the whole learning process, like everything, like learning how everything worked, if it would be shipping or anything. And then, so like we did, uh, we do the events learning that whole back end and learning how much goes into an event. That's what excites me, it's a challenge. And like being able to have something in your head and then achieve it, I think that's like the greatest motivator for me. It's the same way that now this, this whole situation on YouTube is like, okay, well, we're no longer, I can't just go slap on a football video and that's easy million views. Cause that, that's what uh, Casey Nath said as well. Like it got too easy. Yeah. And that's really where it was. Like that's how, that's pretty our downfall. It got too easy just to do well. Mm -hmm. So we all just stayed where we was, carried on doing it. Where now we might have realized, oh wait, it isn't easy anymore. Right. And, that, and that's, to me that's, that's exciting. And to others it might not be. But to me that's exciting of like, I need to learn the whole platform all over again and, and learn myself all over again and then try and broaden my horizons and escape my own. And this is and same thing this, exactly. this exists. Like, yeah, this, that, yeah. Is, so this is something that I've wanted to do for so long. Yeah. Like, whether it be from like insp it, inspiration it, from Joe Rogan, True Geordie, Anyone who I've watched over the past like years, Optic do a podcast that I like what to watch. There's those podcasts I've watched over the no years. Jumper. Yeah, there's so many, there's so many that yeah. I've watched and said that I always love watching. And I just like waffling. I just talk all the time. Yeah. Everyone I even talk to at our friend group, I sit there for hours talking to them, like, oh yeah, great chat with Josh. Other night, yeah, I had to get up and we were talking till like four thirty. It just it just happens because like, well, I just like waffling. Didn't even so then it, I think yeah. this is a good media platform for me to use and then, and it ticks all of YouTube's boxes at the yeah the, uh, in at the moment in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. L watch time, like long watch time. Uh, I think it's just I mean, watch it's, time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just something that's just not fully tapped into properly because a lot of people don't get to see the back end of a lot of YouTubers. So, like, you only see the like the portrayal of the front screen of like who you are. Yeah, you might see the side of some big like shouty people to scream at footballs. Yeah, when there's a lot more to it, and there always has been. But so there's always something behind that. Like, it's never that what what you guys showed. There's always like there's always a person behind. Whatever people see in videos, regardless it's also, of who, it's not just you, yeah. everyone. There's like, this is probably projecting, I've known you for a very long time. This is projecting exactly who you are. Whereas in videos, you're probably one of the most toned down people in the side. Yeah, room, I agree. But still, yeah. you, like, there is a slight, like, not character, but like, you, you're in videos. You're you, quicker, you're, you're on yeah. the ball to crack a joke or to... Yeah. This isn't exaggerated. Yeah. yeah. But I, mean, I, think, you know, I think YouTube in general has made, has made everyone know their inner personality so well that they, they just play on it more. Like, you know, everyone knows their role and everything in the whole group. Mm. Um, it's, it's a, you're an actor, it's an entertainment business, and we're we, here we, to make people happy, have fun, have a good time, enjoy themselves, and switch over you know switch over from other mediums but to come to watch something on a different platform that excites them and, and they get drawn into this platform to watch people that they find um that they're interested in and it happens to be our personalities that they're interested in yeah for sure and i mean there's like so many niches on youtube now like yeah there's channels about air primitive technology bang channel there's a channel about ants and he has a whole house it's on reddit loads he has his whole house is ants, ant farms. Had different colonies of ants, and the video. I, trust me, I have no interest in ants. But the videos bang. No, I, I, I've sat there and watched twenty-five minute videos of it. You know about ants now. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it's so interesting. Yeah, I can imagine. And same way, like you know the guy who went viral who um, drives in rivers and gets collects iPhones yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. Got the. They found a. 
a gun or something. A gun, yeah. Yeah, it's like so interesting. Someone's discarded a murder. But, they, they, but these are channels that something like that. Someone's yeah. just thrown a potentially. Yeah, I think he did hang. He handed it over to. Yeah, yeah, handed it. Yeah, I don't. Handed it to police like that. But like, these are channels that are fully sustainable and growing on YouTube. Because that just shows, like, you know how TV has, like, on Sky, you had, like, the 999 channels. Well, it wasn't that many, mm-hmm. but that's the number it said. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's always, there was always something for someone. And that's what YouTube is now. But there's going to be, like, this actual big channels. Back in the day, if you had a fishing channel, it was, like, you're going to get 100 views, 200 views. But now, like, I would are, watch that. I would definitely There are fishing watch. channels that have, like, I would watch multi- a fishing channel. Of views. Obviously not a live stream, because that might be a bit boring. But um, no, S- Sarah's, Sarah's dad watches... Um, a, like a cyclist channel cycling because he's into cycling watches that the guy daily daily vlogs his, his life with, with his wife I think or, or a couple of days a week or something like that and it's like someone's dad is watching that content like it's crazy like, it's, it's not future. just it's not just 13 year olds anymore yeah mm-hmm. and those 13 year olds now when they get to her dad's age will probably not, not necessarily they won't definitely be still watching YouTube but YouTube you. yeah then it won't it won't be it won't be TV That's anymore copyright, by the way. It, it won't be TV anymore like TV will be phased out I mean, it? there'll be a bridge at some point they'll mix together there'll be something yeah someone mm. will someone will, do, someone big, will do an Apple and they'll go here's an iPhone but it's a, 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 a medium people are trying it like curate it or like the, the smart TV thing about having YouTube on a TV so mm. that you can watch X Factor and then go watch our videos yeah uh, that's definitely like something. I mean, yeah. And a, a Netflix on smart TVs, everything on smart. Like, I haven't I even got a smart TV. What world am I living I in? I do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so at some point, I guess life's not that bad, but it's good to it's good to get it out. How do you want to leave leave this this podcast? How do you life's, feel? Life's not that bad. Life's good for um, you. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm I'm really happy. I'm finding video ideas really tricky. Um, I, I do you want people to send up all the video ideas to you uh, the thing I've noticed not to deep you guys out there is just like you tend to say things uh, that people have already done stuff that you've enjoyed before which is fine that's obvious but I, you know my, my thing was like I just want to either take someone's video and make it better so if I see your idea about doing a crossbar challenge and I'm like can't think of anything to make that better then I won't do that do you know what I mean so it's like uh, although, the, the last one I sent out, they sent in a bang idea, which I'm going to do soon. Really good well, idea. The same thing. I'm not going to tell you. One out, one out of a hundred could be seen. Yeah. And Sorry. that's one video that one of you guys. So if you do see something or you're... Going to credit him? Uh, you know what? I might. Yeah. yeah. Well, that'd be a whole, yeah. That's a whole new thing I've not seen, actually. What? Imagine like a channel that's purely based off the subscriber's comment. Like, so like, oh, this is one of my video ideas, you douchebag. Okay, well, so I'll tell you. So th- th- we tweeted out uh, the other day, I did it twice, but the second time was for real. But the first time was like, we we're going to take uh, everyone's video di- ideas and do them. So some people literally like, they'll tweet in something like eat shit. And okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But I'd actually do what they yeah, said. And, it, it and I'd just be like, hey guys, today I'm here to eat shit. Um, so, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right. So here's the shit. Hold, hold on. You could mean eat shit as in, you know, come off a skateboard and eat shit. Yeah. Going to go down this hill and, yeah. Would you, would you, would you, would you reference the comment or the tweet? Yeah, yeah. So the tweet would be there. So, so it's, yeah. like, so it's, it's like, like a, this is what I'm dealing with. When I, when I ask for video ideas, people are literally like eat shit. And it's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, fully, expect, yeah, I fully get that. That's still, that's still a good idea you should run with. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, there you go. You know what I'm like. It's coming out soon. But that's like a, that's like a new age Q&A. We can I don't, I don't think it, I don't think it, I don't think it, um, it makes a new channel though. I don't know. Potentially. Yeah, I know it's been like a whole channel that's like just dedicated to like, okay, today's video idea is from views by this person. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That video, that channel might. And it's like just, ben, a, a, Ed. just a bunch of people who like. Ben, still Ed, listening. Ed. Ed. It's yeah. a bunch of people who just <laughs> do the ideas that are said. But then the issue is, is that you know how YouTube works? Is that the comments are just going to turn to absolute like fuck fest things. Yeah. Like you need to like, I'm not going to go into details, but I mean like you'd, you'd say some the like horrific shit. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to like monitor that quite well or you just don't base or it around. Or you just don't do them. Yeah. Because like, there'll be 10,000 comments. Yeah, so. you encourage the ones that are like real. Yeah. It's not like, you just put barriers it's not in. like fuck a unicorn. It's like, or, yeah. That's, you you yeah. put barriers like, to entry in. Mm. You just make that's it that's a polite, polite, like, polite no, thing that they'd say. Yeah. Fuck a unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, fuck your mum. Yeah, something like that. That's what they'd all be. But like, 
you could you add barriers to entry. You just make it so it's harder to submit. You'd say you have to send an email for that form with your details so we can contact you to True. say, yeah, and that's then as you do, as soon as you do that, it changes. Because it's easy to- As long to, as it takes a, yeah, as long as it takes a bit of effort to do it. Like, shit, yeah. 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 when you use that. Oh, God, eat shit. Yeah. It's so fucking troll right, You gotta click this link. Uh, what's my name? Fill my out this. Bio. Yeah, my, my, yeah. My Twitter app, uh, yeah. The more clicks they gotta do, the more less interested they are. So. Yeah. Unless they're genuinely interested. In me, fucking, yeah, anyway. So, 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 yeah, so, yeah, go on, go on. You were your summary point, really. So, it, it, life's it, good. Sarah's doing really well. I haven't talked about her on this yeah, podcast, true. but she's doing really well. I might have to get you on a second time because I feel like we could be here for many hours. Bro, like, we already have how been about here for quite a few, I, I try, I try this thing, this thing. What's this thing? This, this vlog thing, keep going. Yes. And we'll come back in four months. And we'll see how it went. And Please do. We'll how's sit here and go, right. So, yeah, that format thing. Uh, so I've gone and done that full time. YouTube now is on the back. Let's, you should make some predictions then. Okay. We'll say, we'll say, what month is it right uh, now? July. Uh, yeah. November. Yeah. Make a prediction for November of where, prediction and I hope. My hope CPM will be, be above 10 cents per thousand views. <laughs> if you guys remember the math. Is that a prediction before. or a hope? <laughs> the hope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I've heard people have come out of the depths. Like we we call it the depths. Like you're in the depths right now. You're yeah. you're over, Ali. Um, <clears throat> yeah, big up Ali for that one. Um, hopefully, I'll be out of the depths. I'm always looking up, so it's like I'm not. I don't want to be realistic and and be like, oh, I've gone up. What was that? Was it four months away? Five months away? Four. Yeah. So say you grow up thirty k. That's one hundred and twenty k more. That's not something to. Let's try and let's try and you know I mean Jake Paul number. The hope is right. You're on Jake Paul numbers by the time I want five k subs a day. There you go. There's a want. There you go. Five k subs a day. We'll see how it went. Maybe and we used to be doing it. That's the thing. That'd be interesting to see. Are yeah. you still doing? Or have you reverted back to type and gone? You know what? I'm going one a week again and not doing one a week. Doing one a month. I don't know. No, no, doing no. daily for that long will be a I th- I think, slog. I think I will be doing daily. You've yeah. done daily for years, though. Yeah, like I know, years and years and years. It's a slog. Yeah. No, I think I, I think I will be. Yeah. You're sick if you have kept up that long. I, I, I would have said I would have doubted you too that long. And please, I, I please, you do, had 30 days. please do these ideas that you think aren't good enough because some people might fucking love them. I reckon, I reckon I'll probably love quite a few of but these. You're a big supporter and a big I am, fan. Man. I watch What's all your like vlogs. Are I, legit, <laughs> I legit do watch your vlogs. Like. You know, that's sick. That's, that's, that's why I, I know, that's eat why I know dinner good, watching these vlogs. Like. That's, the, that's, the, that's the one brown nose comment I'll give you. I'll give you a second brown nose maybe. Is that I know, it, I know it's good and I know that that's why, that's why I said I think you're the one person who may change and grow out of us is because I watched them. So if I'm watching them, like I don't think that I would watch any other guys' videos mm. like all the time. But if you watch me put a video, I'm gonna watch it regardless. And like that the easy video, I thought was jokes. It's a very simple concept, right? And it's saying that I we, we, everyone saw the IKEA Yeezys on um, Instagram and stuff. And I, I, I like in my head I was sitting, oh, that's quite quite funny to do. But like I never thought doing a video. Yeah. Well, this is what people say. Toby says to me, he said to me when he came to me on that, and I told him another video idea. And he was like, you are long. Like, who does that? Yeah. For one video, you've spent nine hours, to 10, 11 hours actually, cutting out stencils, trying to work out how and it is, failing. Well. I could, oh my God, <laughs> don't. You sat and let it dry. Don't, man. <laughs> to be fair, no. Did you go and do something dry, else or did you just watch it dry? Literally paint dry. I'm not gonna lie, I watched like far right videos on what Tommy the, Robinson yeah stuff like that his shit is fuck it. anyway I'm not gonna talk about it but uh, it, not, not, not shit. by the way disclaimer not because like I support any of that like I'm comedy? so I'm so in I'm so in the middle More comedy is that it of both sides by the yeah. way. but like I got suggested a video or on the computer I was on I got su- suggested a video because I came from Reddit or something who's and Ben's been who's watching Tommy Robinson <laughs> it's Toby's but oh, it was from, it was from Reddit it was from Reddit I, I think I clicked yeah, yeah, on yeah. something and then yeah, yeah, and then it was suggested yeah on behalf of that and yeah like yeah anyway he, he just called me long like he's just like you're long like not and and that's, that's not, not putting like toby that. down like like as in like no i'm not saying that he wouldn't do something for nine hours like the kid streams like every day do you know what i mean i'm saying like he called me long because of that like that's for one video yeah. one daily vlog you could have just done you could have just simple, re- yeah 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 for sure but like 
But when I get a good a good video idea in my head like that, I thought they'd turn out a lot better. I was going to wear them out. I was going to do public interview about it. Still might do it. It's quite a good I mean, idea. Yeah, yeah, be jokes. I've seen someone do a video where they wore fake Yeezys, um, but new style. Yeah. And he lied to do a like, sample. And it's a, I watched the whole video. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting to see what people's take on it. Like, oh, like, like hype these kids like, oh, they're sick. Like, I'm going to get those. I'm going to get those. When are they coming out? I'm going to cop them. And then people going like, no, they're fake. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. But it's just interesting. Like, all public videos are always interesting. Regardless. As long as they're like following something that's a roughly interesting topic. But I stopped doing them because they stopped getting views. But that's also because they got rinsed to fuck by the rest of Yeah. The yeah. Uh, Bare people stop, that's, started that, doing that's, that. That's the same we didn't touch on. But that is a thing of like, a lot of people, like, it's the same football videos that sometimes <clears throat> trends start and then they, the, the trend gets reduced because of lower co- con- and lower saturation as well. Saturation. saturation, yeah. yeah like, it saturates the point of it's lower quality. Therefore, the audience lose interest in it anyway because it's like, well, I've seen God has many public videos now, and the past ten have been like hideous. Yeah, ones these, in a row. these these like you, kids yeah. in Stratford with a mic. Oh my God! Oh yeah! Like just guess like, yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on, man! Yeah. Like this isn't quality you content. Start that's the thing. That's that's yeah. that, and that's the hard thing in my head. Yeah, I'm but like, if it was quality co- content, but, but they were like that. Like I, I suppose you couldn't be like that if it was quality content. But I don't know. People watch it though. That's that's, that's the hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the hard grab in my head of like sometimes. It's easy to put down a YouTube who's starting up and be like, oh, like that's like crappy content. But, but you have made. to start yeah, somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I like, go back, go watch like one of my Minecraft series back in the day. Mm. Like, I couldn't sound like I was less interested in the game. Well, our first Minecraft things with KSI. Yeah, yeah but I'm when not I was like Cybermen V1. Well, like, yeah, all right, guys. So playing this Minecraft map. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so, no cuts. Uh, yeah. There's a spider there. Yeah. Eat him. Yeah. <laughs> Up. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so now that, that and that's like literally all my content. And now looking back at you, like, what the hell is that? How did anyone even watch that? Mm. So you can't always. It's hard to like. But not... back then, barely anyone commented on shit. Did commentaries? No, 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 no. It wasn't even that. So I'm just, I'm just saying, like, the point is more that everyone starts somewhere. So it's so easy yeah. to look down to someone and go, "That's crap." Definitely. But you got to compare them in relevancy to where they are in their YouTube careers. When you're eight years down the line, like, yeah, I expect you to be doing decent quality content. But yeah, I would have hoped you would have improved a bit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, when I was then. eight years down the line, still doing that, then oh, I love more Minecraft. For me. But yeah, cool so, videos. Yeah, I guess summarize then. It's like we did a little summary. Third summary. I think I was just thinking to myself as you Third were saying summary. that we don't know the answers. Like yeah, we got the answers can, way. Yeah, That's what I was we can um, sit here and and talk about like the reason why. I'm not currently getting 5,000 subscribers a day on YouTube is I don't know the answers or I'm not doing the things that I know I should be doing for a reason. Or he has the answers and isn't telling them. That's also it. Share your secrets, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, I get today 200 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answers. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. No, I'm, I'm on this. We, you'll see success soon. I'm sure we will, man. Like, with our More party, success. Or with, the, yeah. or with YouTube. Yeah. We're all both. Yeah, continue success on where you are now. Not yeah, stag- sorry, stagnation yeah. is what yeah. you Comfort, but, yeah. but you definitely are a lot more driven than you were in the past. I, I, like, I think everyone can see that. So, yeah, I, I, I'm that. sure you, like, as long as you yeah. keep, you don't get, like, um, deterred from your, your focus. Yeah. I'm sure you will. And, and get to stop letting the numbers get to me as and well. And don't yeah. do Calyx on us. Yeah. What's Calyx? Don't start getting too picky again. Oh, right, yeah. Because I know ideas. you'll... You're like, ah, oh, this vlog, I've put a lot more work into it and you've got 800K, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, this one I put was below effort. Okay, I'm going to skip today because that, that video's not that good. Yeah, that's what I did over the last two days, yeah. yeah. I was also busy. I was watching Sarah. She signed a record deal yesterday. Congrats. So, we, we, we can, yeah, we, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, we can cover Sarah sick. next. You get Sarah on. Like, Sarah, she's on my list. She's yeah, on my I'm, list. I'm, if she's I'm, down. I'm sure, I'm sure she will be. I don't we'll, know. We'll make sure we need we'll Matt here. She's in a position where we, we need Matt here for that. Yeah, We need Matt here for that. And we have Matt as well, who's not here today, yeah, but... He's music. He is so just out of shot. He's just been watching this whole thing. <laughs> He's over there. What's yeah, like, cool, I, think, I think he'll add a lot of into it as well because obviously, like me and you, just be like music. I like that. I listen to it. Where he actually knows the ins and outs, which obviously Sarah knows the ins and outs as well. Which is yeah. like she'll people, run. She'll run the interview with you. Yeah, that's one. People, that's one thing people don't know about Sarah as well is that she's actually very talented. She is past just singing. So smart, but past just singing. Like a lot of people who can so sing, talented, but just aren't yeah. smart about it. Oh, uh, uh, when's this going out? Sunday. I don't know. Um, I'll say it anyway. Her A and R at the label in which she signed out was like, "You said you wanted to sell a thousand CDs. You said that you wanted a number one, and you said that you wanted to um, sell out your first ever gig." 
uh, when you when you first spoke to us three two two three years ago. We, uh, not gonna lie, like behind your back, we like we laughed about it. Some someone behind me that was standing there yesterday when they were telling her was like, "Yeah, we hear that all the time. Like that's what they said." And he was just like, "But then she did that. She did that, and she did that." And it's just like levels, definitely <laughs> ratings, and that's yeah. what you get for being persistent with what knowing what you want and being persistent with it. She was like, I'm sure there were ups and downs for her as well. Oh, yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, tons, yeah. yeah. and that's, yeah. that's, that's I, think, I think she's someone who's interesting to get on the podcast because then people know her whole. Yeah, oh, I'd love to go into like, the, thing. the work that she's done to yeah, create that's, that's 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 really that. Yeah, that's so that's what I'm waiting yeah. to see. I'll see from her. <laughs> but yeah, well, I guess that's episode two. I'm sure Cal has to come back on because he's the person who we've probably talked to for ages. Yeah, yeah. There'll, be guests, there'll be guests like this. There'll be guests where it'll be shorter and you'll see yeah. that they're probably less talkative or have less to cover. Yeah, but yeah, it'd be inter- interesting to see how long this podcast is because I ain't got a clue. On, I think I it's two hours, twenty-two minutes. I reckon three it's hours. The sig- the sig- the sig- I reckon three the hours. Sig- Wait, no, I've got the face. The, the signal you gave me was Ooh. two hours. Yeah, I know that was twenty minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. boy. Oh, two hours twenty-six minutes. You got to rate that. Jeez. Jeez. We had some technical difficulties. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Oh, yeah. Gonna, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So wait two hours twenty-two then maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Oh. We'll wait. We'll wait and see when it's oh. edited. We'll wait and see when it's edited down. We cut all your little crappy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Zoop. You want to get a final plug in? I might add a final plug in at the end. Always plug hashtag Jake. Come follow the vlogs. Come subscribe. Um, if you like not only my content, you like this. Like you want to see more of this. Just like the video comment what you want to see more of so these guys can see and just tell your friends just be like have you seen this at this minute did you see what he talks about here if you find it interesting obviously it's a lot better to be like organic and actually be like wow did you see how much how much calyx said that you get for blah 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 Mm. or this that like but like all of your interactions at the moment like uh mean a lot to all of us i think before sure Whatever. When, 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 they're, when they're actually proper constructive yeah. and they're helpful, I think, and they're, yeah. and they're in depth and they're formal. I love formal people. Like, I'm the most formal person you'll oh, talk but to. I, I wasn't even talking about that. I but mean, no, I'm like saying that it helps things. a lot. It helps, it helps a lot in that, terms yeah, of like But like even just supporting, sharing, whatever. Yeah, that for sure. Shit, yeah, right now, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So thank you, everyone who watched me. Thanks it's for good. coming on, man. It's good, thank you good having you. you. Being a great guest. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank nice you. Check out the channel. It's be top link as always. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you, Cal. Zoop, zoop. Bang, bang. Yeah.